Well, 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 welcome everybody to my time at Sandrock episode 3. Where apparently everybody loves Logan and I had no idea about this. Uh, today is May 17th. Why does May 17th, uh, why is that, uh, you know, why is that significant? Well, very much so. Today, hang on a sec, the music's gonna cut out. and You're gonna listen to me for a half a second. Today, a hotfix actually released for my time at Sandrock. Fixing a lot of different things, but also, um, uh, potentially adding some things that might hurt. Um, <laughs> adjusted and optimized. So this is the first thing they want to tell us. They said they add safety checks that will display a pop-up window whenever an abnormal situation arises. In such cases, we kindly request builders help in identifying and resolving any of these issues. Uh, P.S. We find some uh, we find some potential errors that may affect the save files. Your save file safety is of utmost concern. If there are any potential save issues, a pop-up window will appear with instructions on safeguarding your progress. We kindly request you guy uh, you to follow the guide and identify these problems so that we can resolve them. P.S. or P.P.S. By the way, backing up your save file is always helpful. So yeah, that was the first thing they wanted to tell us. But then after that, they went on and said a bunch of things have been fixed. They fixed an issue where the night sky displayed abnormally. They fixed the problem where steel frames could not be refined. Abnormal behavior issues in the showdown. They fixed the problem of overlapping music, apparently. Persistent background music. Synchronization problems in the firework minigame. Sound effects volume on the magic mirror. Improved the image quality. They've been hard at work. Fixed the problem of NPCs in prison. What the heck does that mean? Fix the problem of NPCs in prison, continuing to give commission orders. Okay, that's something I might not know about. <laughs> Fix the disappearance of the water tower uh, resource point. Uh, resolve the problem of sound loss. Uh, looks like there's a lot of like uh, graphical things, uh, audio things they've fixed. Fix the error of configuration of the rescue team jacket pulled by Vivi's uh, shop, and then fix an issue with the incorrect text description affecting Trudy's relationship points. So they fix a lot of different things. Um, that's a hot fix. Hot fix for May 17th, and that's basically where we stand. Now, the plan for uh, my time at Sandrock is absolutely still to, excuse me, still to release it sometime in summer. If you were to guess, you know, that's between June and September, technically. Now, today, also on May 17th, uh, over on Pathea Games, uh, they have officially announced uh, their new project. Uh, it is Project Me, which is another game set in my time at Sandrock, or sorry, my time universe. Um, it will be a mobile game, and a lot of people are asking, will it ever come to platform? That is to be determined because they have not answered that question. Also, uh, some people are concerned that if they are still working on my time at Sandrock, will they uh, kind of veer off now working on this other project um at least this is what the developers said the developers said that they will not be veering off to the other side because my time at sandrock has their own dedicated dev team and they have now hired a separate dev team to work on this other project so don't worry about that my time at sandrock should be just fine and coming out in full release this summer anyways that's a lot of information i know in the first like five minutes of the stream but it's good to see everyone. Hope everyone's having a good day. It's a Wednesday. It, yep, it's a Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to you all. Good to see you. How you doing, Danielle? How you doing, Bojack, Christina, Payne, Robert R? What's going on? Hey, Susie. Hey, Alex. What's going on? Chaos Cat. How you doing, Chaos Cat? Good to see you as well. Yeah, welcome in, everybody. Hey, Mel. How you doing? Lil Net. How you doing, Lil Net? Hey, Zell Mog. What's going on? Or Zali Mog? Zali Mog. Maybe Zali Mog. What's going on? Hey, Shante. What's going on? What's going on? Chibi, how you doing? What's going on? What's going on? Sarah Jane. How you doing, Sarah Jane? Good to see you. Welcome in. Uh, Toreen. Toreen Whitfield. How you doing, Toreen? Hey, X. How you doing, X? Good to see you. <laughs> hey, Alexander. Also, hello, Yellow. What's going on? Yeah. Welcome, everybody. I'm glad you could be hanging out with me today on a Wednesday. How you doing, Waffle? What's going on? Yeah. Hey, Not Given. Hey, Ainworth. Yeah. Oh, by the way, McSqueeze with the four months says, Hey, Kansas Chan, been a great four months and looking forward to years of entertainment in Monterey. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, McSqueeze. I hope you're doing well today on this Wednesday. Thank you for the re-up on the membership. Very kind indeed. Hi, how you doing, Jasmine? What's going on, Jasmine? Good to see you. Welcome in, everybody. And everybody working, lurking, and smirking. Lurking, smirking, and working, and, you know, all that good stuff. 
let's continue, shall we? Let's do it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go back into our my time at Sandrock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh! We are inside a bed. Very well. Very well. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, I should probably announce that since we're this early into the uh, stream, uh, this will be the last um, stream of my time at Sandrock um, until at least uh, next week. So, yeah. Let's go outside. Do we have any quests or do we have to run into a quest here? We might have to actually run into a quest. Yeah. Hey, Christy K. How you doing? Hey, Serafima. Serafima. How you doing, Serafima? What's going on? <clears throat> good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> once you have a few, once you have a few thousand dollars, can you show us how to use the construction junction for house upgrades? It's such a confusing interface. Yes, I can definitely do that. Yeah, thank you, Mel, for the four months. Say happy birthday to Danielle for Friday. That's absolutely right. Thank you, Mel. I appreciate that. Yes, Friday is Danielle's birthday. That is absolutely right. Thank you very much for that. Good day, Cans. Uh, how are you? Well, hello, Matilda. I just remembered that we haven't introduced you to desert farming yet. Oh. We have a nice gentleman by the name of Zeke working on a moisture farm north of town. If you want some pointers on farming, you should go talk with him. I've already given him a heads up that you'd be coming. The farm's a bit far, though, so you might fancy taking a yakmo cart. Ah, yes, the introduction to a few things here. Well, I remember. I'm on my way to see how Coop's doing, so you have a good day. So long now. So long now. We still actually have the horse, too. Let's check on our mail here. Letter from Ma. Dear Cairns. Oh, Nia stopped by. She's getting along... Oh, sorry. She's getting along well studying under Dr. Lou. I think his name is... You'll have to ask her yourself for more details. They've been doing something with that tree you used to play on. It's looking better. Maybe we can get you a picture. With your dad and his bonsai trees and your friend with her own gardening skills, I'm starting to feel a bit left out. Maybe I'll grow some peas. Those really crispy ones that snap when you open them. What are those called? I'll have to ask uh, one of the experts. Uh, no updates on the quilt situation either. Last I checked... They were in Atara. Hopefully that means they're on their way. Love you lots, Ma. We will reply to this. People are into planting here too. I'm digging it. I hate farming. I just want to build. They're called snap peas, Mom. You can try and grow them, but they're not easy. Let's not uh, be rude to Mom. Uh, people are into planting here too. I'm digging it. It's kind of a big thing around here. Life or death even. They take it really seriously. Let's do that. Let's send that one off. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Payne. I appreciate that. Thank you, Payne. Oh, man. Uh, all right. Well, at least we can still use the horse. We still got that rolling with us, right? Yeah. Oh, we have a little bit of an expansion on our uh, farm. If uh, nobody caught on to that. Well, not caught on to that. But if, it, if anybody missed the last stream, we did expand our little farm here. But let's go and jump aboard and ride a horse. Go to the moisture farm. What an interesting name. You know, a lot of people growing up in like high school, middle school. I don't even know if this was a universal. Th I think this might have been like a universal thing. Or maybe it was like a US centric thing. But like a lot of people in school back then, like taboo, moist. The word moist was like, don't say it. Don't ever say the word moist. Like, people got offended if you said the word moist. Like, that was a word nobody wanted to hear. And you were like, if you said it, you were like, yeah, that guy. <laughs> or that gal. You know what I mean? So, not a lot of people like the word moist, at least. We could have used that, but I'm going to, you know, use, use the horse. You don't like the word moist? Okay, there we go. See? At least it's not like a, a, a me thing, us thing, our thing. But welcome to the moisture farm, right? There we go. Check this out, please. I remember this farm. I like this. It sounds like there's fighting inside. You should have a weapon equipped. Are you ready to go in? I do have a weapon. I have my daggers, dude. The lizards are attacking the farm. I need to do something. Yeah, thank you. I uh, appreciate that. Let me pull out the daggers. Get in on this. What up, dude? Giggler intern. Love it. Love the name. There we are. No big deal. We learned about a Giggler intern. I think this is actually our first official fight against Gigglers, right? We should start using the Yakimel station. It's way easier to move around. Yeah, it's like the fast travel system, yeah? I definitely use it when you when you go across a bridge. That's when I definitely use it. Yeah, for sure. 
I like using it. It's fun too, cause like the little cutscene and all. Whoa, look at that. Pretty cool. Ooh. It's Zeke, right? Yeah. No, that's Zeke. Wait, who's... Zeke is the farmer, yeah? <laughs> Justice, Unsure, and Zeke. That was a close one. Everybody all right in here? You didn't do anything, sir. I did all the work. Hello. That is Zeke. Be the new builder. Hey, Kayla, how you doing? It just started my time at Porsche. Kind of cool to see the differences. That's awesome. I'm Zeke. Hi, Zeke. I don't remember him having a voice, but maybe he always had a voice. Now ain't the time for pleasantries, you big palooka. Look around. The whole moisture farm is trashed. I can't believe those darn lizardmen could be so audacious. Audacious? Clear escalation. The good thing about plants, Justice, is that they grow back. We'll be fine. We'll be fine? Is uh, that thing over there important, see? It looks pretty busted up. Oh, yes, the hydrogel. All the crops will die without that. What? You're joking, right? I can never tell if you're serious or not. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm afraid there's nothing funny about it. Without a replacement, we could be in dire straits. But this is something our new builder could help with, right? Of course, of course I can do it, yes. I'm a builder. There's, you know... That's the name of the game, baby. That's the spirit builder. That's right. This main part of the moisture machine. Moisture machine. Kind of rare. And it looks like we'll need a new one. Chi might know something. You should speak with him, you know. Sooner or later. All right, buckaroos. Look like we got ourselves a plan. Buckaroos. See, hold down the fort. You, head over to Cheese and figure out how to fix that hydro thing. Unsure? You're with me. Let's secure the perimeter. Yeah, I think our best bet would be to ask Chi. He may know a thing or two about the hydro gel. For the rest of the damage here, I'll probably just ask the other builder for help. Also, you can recycle the old hydro gel. Go ahead and whack it a few times with your pick hammer. Put it out of its misery. Very well. Good luck, builder. Seriously, everyone is going to be counting on you. I like Zeke. I don't know. I've always liked Ze Zeke, though. Yeah, I do. I I don't know. There's something about him. There is. There's something about him. Anyways, uh, we done did that. Let's go ahead and go talk to Chi. Now, I don't think there's anything else kind of like hidden around here. I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember if I ever found anything extra like like chest laying around or anything like that. I'm going to take it as if there is not. And I'm going to continue to Chi. Yes, 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 okay, let's go. And we're back on our horse. I will use the horse to go to cheese, yeah? Now, I will only use the horse until the horse goes away, right? That's the only reason, that's a, a, like also another reason why I'm using the horse, because, you know, he's going to be, he's going to be going away soon, and it's going to be probably a hot minute before I can ever even get a horse. There we are. And then maybe we can run into our love of life, Katori. <laughs> ah! My love of life, Katori! How you doing? My cougar, my love, my... My... My experienced woman, how are you? Ah, Mason left a pretty big tab at the game center on his way out. But it's alright, I forgive him. I can send him an invoice through the mail. Very well. I gift you something. Do I have anything to give you? I can give you a stone axe. I can give you a nice little silk scarf. What about the Desert Defender shirt, huh? Oh, no, no, no. We got the face cream, baby. I'm going to give you some facial cream. Gosh, look at that. Plus five relationships. Are you saying I have bad skin? <laughs> I'm kidding. You should have seen your face. Thank you, though. I really appreciate it. No problem. No problem, indeed. Hmm. Katori also loves gold. You have some gold in your chest? She loves gold? Of course she does, doesn't she? Go figure. You need some moisture in my state? It's been a bit of a drought. It's a, like... 
Um, I'm trying to, like, it's it's been fairly even, like, it's been dry here for a while now. There's been, like, no rain for, like, a month or so. Yes. But then again, we are getting close to, like, summer, too. Summer is just terrible. I don't like the summer here. No, no, no. I don't like the heat. Are you here for the hydrogel? Yes. I've heard. I have a few ideas about how to make one. But, quick, bring me five data disks, and I'm confident we can overcome this feeble challenge. Five data disks? That's it? Okay. I think we actually have that. No, I didn't design the last one. Locals here dug it up somewhere. Let's talk. More dandy disc. I think I actually have that on me right now. Do I? Let's see. Yes, I do have 22. Got it, Chichi. These will do. I'll send a diagram directly to your mailbox when I'm done researching. Nice. He's a gold digger. Oh, and one more thing. I'm quite certain that one of the materials you need for this, a condenser, can be acquired at the breach, a ruins in town that has been closed up by the civil court for some time. Speak with justice about letting you in. So, gee, when are you ever gonna like fix your tie? Just your take way. it off at this Goodbye, point. Builder. Take off your your tie at this point, sir. You don't need it. Okay, what else did we also want? Um. Um. You know, I think I might just hold on. Oh, no, we have the silver furnace being done right now. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good, we're good. We got the silver furnace going. All right, cool, 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 cool. Nice. Oh, you could uh, ride the Yakimel stomps with the horse. Yakimel with the horse. Horse in the Yakimel, and it will just transport with you. I'm waiting for the devs to add more romance missions for him. Oh, baby. Is he romanceable? I guess she is romanceable, yeah? You Hello, sir. Into the breach. Huh. I don't know. The breach used to be in abandoned ruins. You know, one without monsters inside. Yeah. It was safe for ruined diving. But recently, it started showing up again. So we closed it until further notice. Okay. We've been clearing it out, but there are still some monsters inside. On the other hand, this is a matter of life and death for us, isn't it? All right, Builder. I know you can handle yourself. I'll open up the ruins for you. But be prepared. We still don't know why the monster suddenly showed up again. So be careful. Okay. All right. So this is our first like time entering the breach. Yeah. Good. I do like the fighting in this game. One thing about these farming uh, farming games when it comes to combat, sometimes the combat can be very. Uh, I would I would consider this game a farming life game. Yeah. Um, sometimes the combat can just be very like either lackluster it could be very um just bad in a sense but in this game the combat is i think as far as farming life games it's like up there as like one of my favorites for sure yeah absolutely into the breach recommended level 10 to 12 and it dude i'm way past that yeah you could talk to the people on the horse yeah i i i, I can i can uh, I, I get off the horse to like just I'm a little uh I even do it like in Skyrim or something I'll get off the horse and talk to people face to face you know <laughs> instead of them being like builder get your horse's uh thing out of my face you know that kind of thing look for the condenser very well we'll look for the condenser oh baby I can't remember if there's chests and all. But anyways, we'll take down the sweeper, I guess, right? Oh, God. Yeah, they weren't joking about these, these guys. Well, I mean, level 2. Or level 12, sorry. The heck is that? A trotter? I don't remember the trotters. I hardly remember the sweepers here. Don't catch this L, I tell you. You're gonna get it. There we go. Yeah, dude, the daggers are, are so fun to use. So simple. Learned about a trotter. Broken power stone. Very cool. Now, I don't know if you can actually bop these. No, you can't bop those. <clears throat> can you bop this? No, you can't bop the crates either. Mm. Ah, the giggler. Giggler intern. Oh, there's another diary right there, too. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Oh, do you not lose any stamina? Is that right? You can mine everything. Okay, you can mine everything. Very cool. All right, did we get that? Yeah, we did get the diary. Nice. Many things are broken open with attacks. Try smashing them. So we got some hemostat from that. Okay. Cool. Let's go this way. There we go. A little bit of that. Dried sandberry. Dried sandberry. You can bop the wooden ones? <clears throat> Let me see here. He's talking about the wooden uh, crates up here, yeah? There we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Thank you, thank you. We'll bop this too. Now, there was a way, actually, uh, back this way. Let me go up here real quick. It was like downstairs, right? Can you go down there? No, you can't? Okay. Ooh. Okay. All right, we'll continue. We'll continue. Follow the arrow, of course. Follow the arrow. Resting knit face, how you doing? What's going on? You're building your little heart out in Dinkum. <laughs> Good to see you. I mean, I guess technically, no. There's a little bit of like copper here, right? Technically, get some Dinas too. Sure, I guess. And you can get some data disc as well. Nice. Cool. Hmm. <clears throat> Hey, Dennis, how you doing, Dennis? Hey, Kiwi, how you doing? Finally, I could join the live stream. Hey, shout out to you, Kiwi. What's going on? There we go. Yeah, I'm not going to, like, dig every single thing. I'll be real with you. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. First time you get to catch the stream. Oh, very well, very well. I'm so happy to see you. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's awesome news there, Knit Face. That's awesome. Love that. Love that the uh, the the help uh, with the mods it actually end up working for you. That's wonderful. And watching your Dickum series, you're on day 10 at the moment. Oh, very well. You got a long journey ahead of you. You got a long journey ahead of you. I hope you enjoy that. Let's go here. Let's go. Let's go down here. But yeah. Get a little bit of health. There we go. It kind of reminds me, that little thing right there, it kind of reminded me of the, I can't remember the old games I used to play. There, well, I mean, I remember one, but I can't remember the actual name. There used to be like an old Digimon game I used to play on console. I think it was on Xbox back in the day. I even played like Fantasy Star Universe. Anybody ever played Fantasy Star Universe back in the day? Intense. Take Igla the President. Our ultimate weapon is nearly complete. VP, take care of this. I've got one last thing to do. The VP. What the heck? So you're not even facing the right way. Where's the security case? So then we got intern. Oh, this is the VP. I'm already smashing the VP, dude. Don't take that out of context, though. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm not afraid of you gigglers. Think I'm afraid? Nah, dude. I'm not afraid at all. Okay, I'm a little afraid. There we are. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that was a good, that was a good, that was a good move. Okay, here we go. Me and you, VP. Whoop. I'm not afraid. Good stuff, good stuff. Love it. I don't even have to, I don't even have to watch him. All I gotta do is just look to the side, read chat, and just beat him. I ain't afraid of you, dude. Hey, right, where are you going? Disappeared on me. What the heck was that, dude? That wasn't cool. I was in the middle of bopping you. Very well. Now, there's a lot of stuff in here we can get, for sure. So, I'm gonna grab this stuff. I'm gonna take advantage of all this stuff. That's for sure. Uh-oh. 
Looks like the Giggler are coming in through here. After I find a condenser, I should block this hole. Very well. Very well. Look for the condenser. Well, yeah, I'll definitely do that. Let me just gather some stuff. <laughs> Whoop. There we are. The combat in this game is so much more enjoyable than Porsche. I'll be real with you. I, I, I haven't, like I said, I haven't played Porsche in years and years and years and years. And I don't remember really uh, how the, the, the combat in Porsche was. I just don't know. I, I, I just don't remember. There we go. Bop that. We're kind of like out of inventory. I guess we could take advantage of this to some degree and be like, yo, let's buy... A hundred worth? Five more? Yeah, I think it's worthwhile. There we go. Cool. This is probably where the condenser is. Da -da -da -da. That's a glass lens. Never mind. I will pop that, though. Combat's much smoother, and the move is cooler. That's right. <laughs> the moves are pretty cool, huh? <laughs> If I watch the stream in a bathtub, would this be a bathtub stream? <laughs> oh, man. Bye, bye. Oh, I love that's one like it's very satisfying. Taking down crates. Any game that has crates that I can take down, very satisfying. Here we go. It was boring and glitchy. That's what the. Uh, even after the full release of my time at Porsche, was the um, ooh, was the combat still boring and glitchy back? Can't see. I don't remember. I don't remember my time at Porsche that much. There's probably the condenser in there. Like the combat system. Like I remember. Um, I re obviously remember there being combat. It's a, uh, it's a condenser right there. I remember there being combat. I remember it being lush and, and beautiful. I remember the town being kind of cool looking, you know? Um, I remember some of the characters. Um, I'm trying to think of like bugs or things that I that I encountered that I just didn't enjoy, but it's just too long for me. It's too long for me to remember, I guess. That's basically what it boils down to, you know? There we go. Porsche's combat is like is like slapping the mob repeatedly in a boring way. Oh, okay, okay. I see. Look at Dream. That's the up house. It's balloons. Oh, okay. All right. I feel you. I see now. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. Hang on a sec. Let me pick. Well, by the way, thank you for subscribing, Alex Sinclair. Appreciate that. Thanks for subscribing. Okay. We got every little bit of thing that we could get, yeah? Pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I guess technically I could get this still. <laughs> Old parts. Alright, I'm not too worried about it. Let's go. Place the stones. There you go. Patch up the hole. Place the wooden boards. Yes, yes, yes. After I close this hole, I better go report to justice. Fill the hole and leave. That's good. It was more difficult to dodge attacks and the whole attack system was repetitive. Are bats in the same WhatsApp group as cereal milk for cans? Oh, hey, there you are. We were just about to come looking for you. Oh, okay. Well, hi. Justice was worried about you. Oh, well, don't be worried, Justice. I can handle myself. Trust me. I probably could beat you in a spar. Uh, yeah. I started getting kind of nervous after sending you into the breach. Oh. Like you're lonesome. And, you know, a couple of hours went by. Wait, did you say Gigglers? I did. And you fought them all by yourself? I did. And then you closed the hole in there? I did. I see. You do. <laughs> you know, Builder, you don't have to make this action hero stuff up to try to make us think you're cool. I already think you're cool. I know. Yeah, me too. Quiet and sure. So you just take it easy out there. All right, partner. All right, partner. See ya. I don't know why I just like develop a vendetta against Unsure. 
Maybe it's his name. I don't know. I'm keeping my eye on you, man. I don't trust unsure people. <laughs> Chitty? Oh, I thought that said Chibi for a sec. This place is great if you can get past the numerous shortcomings. Oh, okay. Truth. Oh, that's justice and truth, yeah? In Portia, whenever you attack somebody, your whole character would keep moving forward. You can avoid poison or falling? Really? So then it's like, uh, I can't remember that. But I guess, you know, you could argue that this is definitely a big upgrade for sure. I need to get back into playing the My Time at, My Time at Portia. Never got around to finishing it. I don't think there's any other quests going on right now, right? No. But we can at least do some commissions. I don't know why I rode the horse all the way back here. But I'm just going to ride the horse all the way back here. And then I'm going to go to the commerce. And see if there's any commissions lying around. <laughs> I'm not that ugly. <laughs> if he's unsure, how can you be? <laughs> Hey, Mian. What's going on? Hmm. Well, guess it's up to you and me now, huh? Don't worry, Cans. We've got this. Oh, okay. All right. Catch you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is it the weekend? Stone slab, copper bars. I believe I could do that. Yeah, I could do that one. Wooden stick for Amira, Rian, Elsie, Heidi, Arvio. Who do I want to help out here? Maybe Amira? A wooden stick for a mirror? Let's do a mirror. There we go. We'll do a mirror. We'll track that too. Yeah, it's not the weekend, is it? It's Tuesday. All right. By the way, I have a couple of skill points I, I can uh, share here. Combat. Um, guns. Maximum health. Uh, we can go to the daggers. Critical hits from daggers causes one more toughness damage. And the daggers critical hit chance increased by 5% if we continue with that. I don't think I'm having too much trouble with health, so I'm going to just double down on Dagger Avis to level 2. Nice. Then apparently social. Um, When you reach friend status with someone in town, you can see them on the map. I actually love that, so I'm going to do that. Easy. Alright, nice. Don't get me wrong, I love Portia. It took me 190 hours to complete. I enjoyed every minute of it. Minute of it. Like, uh, people told me, I didn't ever did it, but people said the mods in my time at Portia were incredible. Anybody use mods? Anybody vouch for that? People said it was incredible. Like, the mods that you could do. Which also kind of, like, if that is true, that kind of makes me think, like, um, um, what is it? it? It makes me think about, like, how Sandrock, you know, what Sandrock could do. Uh, when it's fully released and then we have like mods and all that stuff, you know Quick build. There we go All right horse. Let's go talk with uh, Amira Amira You know honestly, we should probably get something in the recycler right now Yeah, let's get stuff going in the recycler perfect. Oh I gotta do a little bit of dusting Fill that up. Scrap. That. Fill that up. Perfect. According to the devs, Sandrock was originally planned as a DLC for Portia. They got far enough into they realized they were changing enough to make it a standalone game. Could you imagine if this game, if this like was a DLC? That would have been insane, dude. Well then, I don't know if the combat system or like everything and all that would have like flowed very well with um with Porsche. So I'm glad it was a standalone game. Hey Katori. Actually, Katori, let me talk to you real quick. <clears throat> hey Nicole, how you doing, Nicole? Oh, I already gave you something today. So Never mind, Katori. Hey, yeah. <laughs> you haven't used any mods yet? Wait, there's mods? Yeah, I've been told there's mods for my time at Porsche. People say it's really good. <clears throat> Hello there. Hello. Mm -hmm. Mason never seemed like a happy man to me. I hope he finds peace somewhere. Oh, okay. 
Here's your commission. She is a beaut, isn't she? Thank you. I hope you didn't have to go too far out of your way for this. Please, your, uh, please, your pay. Now, I know it would be really, really, really simpin, right? Absolutely. It would be really simpin if I was like, oh, I'm going to go for Amira, right? And they'd be like, oh, everybody does. And I want to go with Katori, but as the game stands right now, there's just not enough... Uh, uh, the, the progression of romance isn't there yet. But if we extend this maybe we can eventually get there with katori if with some updates and whatnot maybe potentially you never know yeah but dun dun beefies i who the fifis is i'm watching and loving all your decom content uh on day 12 right now oh very good you got a long ways for you too as well enjoy that long series for sure you got a long ways have fun with that. Good to see you. I guess I could talk to people over here too. I could talk to me. Oh, freaking Cooper, dude. Freaking Cooper. Sheesh. Freaking Cooper. Wait, I wonder if I can actually pick up another. Um, I could probably pick up another commission now, right? Now that I finished that commission. <laughs> Man, you're still in here. <laughs> we'll do Heidi. Okay, you can only do one commission a day. Okay. Okay. Very well. Very well. I understand. I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Maggie May. I appreciate that. Thank you. If I don't talk to you either, uh, have a good rest of your week, too. And hopefully I will see you next week, yeah? Oh. <laughs> you know you want to go with the mirror first and then drop her when 1.0 comes? <laughs> oh, that would be... That would... That would... That would be so bad. That would hurt. But it would probably be true, though. Alright, let's go and... Um, we'll go see if I, if I still can... Um, uh, take advantage of wait does that do all the all the boxes yeah I think it does all the boxes let's see if I can go take advantage of the uh, of the scrapyard up here when you get workshop level two you can accept more commissions per day okay good good shout good shout you do two a day then that's not open 200 um, I'll wait on that for now I don't necessarily need it at this moment yeah, I don't necessarily need it at this moment. Do I need wood scraps? Ah, uh, I mean, it's good to have them rather than not have them, I guess, right? If I'd even... Uh, yeah, I did get some wood scrap there. I think also, um, eventually I'm going to need a lot of marble, if I remember correctly. For some reason, I remember having to bop this thing, monument, a lot back when I last played. But yeah. Yeah, marble. So I'm going to collect a little bit of marble here. here go. Wood pile. Uh, hard rock. What does hard rock give us? Maybe a cafe? Let's see. Oh, look at that little crab that just came out. It gave us marble bloodstones. Okay, marble is bloodstones. Very well. You have a good load of hours ahead of us. Yeah, 60 days. Yeah, I'm on. I just finished up day 62 yesterday. Um, so yeah, you got a lot. <laughs> got a lot, a lot. A lot of good times, though. I will say, a lot of good times for sure. We had in the we have in that series. Ooh. Ooh. All right, all right. It's getting a little bit dark. Might as well have some things coming in here. Um, let's get, yeah, let's get some marble brick going. Because I feel like I'm going to need those eventually. And then let's get some, wow, we have so much potential for copper bars. Let's get bronze bars working. I know we're going to need that eventually. And I think that's it. Ceramic plates and bottles you could really do good with uh, gifts, yeah? Give them as gifts. Anything over here I need to get? Or do? It's hard to tell. 
grinder in here. Pistol bullets. Pistol bullets. I guess I can actually try to make another dew collector, right? Actually, you know, I'm going to hold off on that because I know that we're going to be getting a... Um... Actually, no, we, 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 I, we should have another, like... It should fit right there if we did another one. Let's do another dew collector, maybe. Let's see here. Let's see. Wood stick, basic leather, marble brick, stone trough. Okay, let's go basic leather. Let's get some wood sticks going. Uh, two of those. Give me all the basic leather I have. Give me some of that. Okay. Sticks. Sticks and stones may break my bones. I have a little bit of marble. Oh my lord, the marble takes forever, doesn't it? Holy crap. Okay, so maybe we'll complete that in the morning then. Very well. That, pick up a little bit of that. A little bit of this, sort it all out. Perfect. I had to get more chests and all that. Uh, also, duster. We need the duster rolling. Where's the duster? Where's the duster? Where do we need to dust? I thought we needed to dust. Yeah, right here. Come on. There you go. There's something about dusting in this game that's very satisfying as well, too. Hey, baby duck, what's going on? Good to see you. What's going on? Hey, Lindy, how you doing? Can I finally marry Fang? <laughs> Trying to... Time to grind the love train. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Ooh. Alright. We're gonna... We're gonna go into... We're gonna go into the nighttime here. Ah, because of the Giggler attack, the price of food items have gone up 50%. That's alright. We don't really need food right now. We have our own food cooking. Alright, let me guess. Uh, Mr. Chi? Delivery? Uh, let me grab some marble real quick. Finish off this uh, little bit of dew collector. Dew collecting. There we are. Perfect. Thank you. And then let's... Oh, actually, I should put the books away, too. There, there. There we go. And then that should be able to slide in right there, right? No problem. Nice. Ooh. Love it. All right. What do we got? From the church. Dear Sand Rockers, we understand that the food situation is dire, and after a full night of discussion, we might have a solution. Come on down to the fireside tonight at 1800, and we'll shed a light on the subject. Very well. Hey, at least they said 1800 this time and they didn't say 1800 p.m. <laughs> Builder, as promised, I have finished designing a new hydrogel. Nice. Builder, cans. Uh, we went into the breach and found out that you were telling the truth. We were so surprised. We checked the hole you closed. It's holding steady. That's probably the source of the monsters. We've also informed Minister Matilda of the incident. She asked us to expedite a plan to expel the Gigglers from the vicinity as well as give you a reward for the help. It's attached to this letter. P.S. There are still some of the monsters in the deeper parts of the breach, but we don't consider them to be that much of a threat. So it'll stay open as a hazardous ruins for you so you can go get builder stuff whenever you need it. Nice. And then the research center with our civil furnace. Nice. Ooh. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, so now we got to make the hydrogel and the hydrogel core. Yeah? Hydrogel and the hydrogel core. Core and door. Core and door. Maybe door's easier? Holy crap. Bronze pipe. Copper plates. Rubber tubes. Got you. Okay. Copper plates. Send it. Bronze pipe. Also send it, right? That said bronze pipe. Bronze pipes. Copper plates. Good. Okay. Those will get done. Very cool. Very cool. We might need to go actually uh, uh, go scavenging more or go up to the salvage yard and get a little bit more. We might have to spend a bit of money there. Let's go do it, baby. Hey, Jojo. How you doing, Jojo? What's happening? Good to see you. Baby Ducks is just taking it easy the rest of the day and listening to my puppy snore. Oh, that's the best day ever, though. Yeah? That's the best day ever. You should have told me you were having the best day ever. <laughs> I 
<laughs> uh, does everyone like their steak? I'll take a steak. I'll take it medium rare. Medium rare for sure. Give me the rare steak. Ooh. Oh, we're level 15. I love that. Well done is just too well done. Rare. Like, I used to know somebody that they loved rare steak to the point where it was like, like, they loved rare steak where, like, the inside of the steak was, like, a little bit cold. That's how rare it was. You know what I mean? I'm like, that is insane. I'm like, what the heck? <clears throat> I wasn't about that life, dude. But I'll take a medium rare. <clears throat> I know Danielle, she's a, she's like a, she's like a well done kind of gal. Yeah, she's a well, well done kind of gal. But she's not really much of a red meat eater. She's more of a chicken eater. Uh, let's go copper that rolling. Thank you Mechanical scrap get that going. Thank you. Oh We have the silver furnace I guess too. I'm kind of ignoring that. Well, I'm not ignoring it, but Yeah <laughs> Yes, maybe maybe slightly Copper bars. Let's get that rolling fill it. There you go And then we'll get more bronze bars can we no we need more tin ore Okay, we can spend the rest of our day uh, doing that. Does the bread give us um, stamina? Critical hit. Okay, no, the, the sand berries do, though. We'll eat a couple sand berries. And we'll go get some more tin ore. <clears throat> well done is like eating a tire. Now the question is, do you dip the steak? Are you dipping it in anything? Are you having A1 sauce? Are you having horseradish? I'm more of a horseradish slash A1 sauce goer. I know there's people and I don't understand it, how they eat their steak with ketchup. What the heck is that? I even knew somebody who ate their steak with ranch. What the heck is that? You know? But I'm more of a horseradish. Uh, give me horseradish with a little bit of... Um, with some A1 sauce, and I'm good to go. Yeah, good to go. Whoop. Follow the mysterious hole. That's what I was always taught to do. This is bad. This is actually bad. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I thought it was stuck there for a sec. Okay. <clears throat> Whoops. That was fun. <laughs> I don't know what the heck that was. <clears throat> sure, dude. I should have emptied my inventory before I came in here. Gosh darn it. I always forget to do that. I am so bad. I spend money when I don't necessarily need to spend money. I'm just a terrible, terrible scavenger. Medium rare steak with French mustard. What is French mustard? That is new to me. I, I do not know what French mustard is. Is that like a special kind of mustard? Yeah. It's not yellow mustard, obviously. Not Dijon mustard. You should start uh, drying meat to get the jerky. Oh yeah, we got that already. We got the meat drying. I just got to pick it up off the thing thing doohickey. Yeah. Growing up, my mother used to cook steak into leather, usually in the microwave. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Oh, try holding tab to get out. Oh, okay, cool. 
close and exit? Wait a sec. Okay, is that what it is? Close and exit? I think I did see your comment. I just totally forgot about it. I think that was a couple days ago, yeah? So you just kind of like do that. Okay, that's kind of cool. Steak into leather. <laughs> oh! Aren't these guys new? The Scrounge McMole? They're new, right? Scrounge McMole? There we go. What did that give us? Gold? Gold and other things happening? What do we get? Gathering? Chance to gain double gathering knowledge increase from mining? We'll do that. A terrible person. I'm doing it again. I know. I know. I'm addicted to inventory. Rib meat. Rib meat. Rib meat. Sometimes I like dip it in soy sauce. Sometimes I like mix. I think soy sauce, I'll be real with you. Soy sauce is like one of those things, right? That like, if you ever need to like spice up your life a little bit with like a meal, like, you know, whatever it might be like, oh, I got to, I've had this thing a hundred thousand times, whatever the dish is. Soy sauce is like my go-to when I'm like, okay, let's try a different approach at this meal, you know? Let's, let's try to make some changes. Let's have fun with it, right? Soy sauce is always the first thing that comes to my mind. Oh, God! Holy crap. That was a close one. That was very much a close one. Okay. Are we magical? I came here for the tin ore, but I keep going farther, farther down. I should probably stop right here, though. Yeah. We'll stop right here. Just because I, I don't want to sp keep spending money, spending money, money, money on inventory like a fool. Send me up. PS5 or Steam Deck can only choose one. I would personally probably pick the PS5. I'm not much of a um, of a handheld um, handheld player. Handheld, what would you call it? Handheld uh, console player, so to speak. And I know you could dock the Steam Deck, but I still just don't. I, I I'm not I'm not a I'm not a big like the Switch. For an example, I have a Switch, right? But me personally, never would I ever play it handheld. I always, always played it docked. That's just how I am. Bars, there we go. Gotta get some water. Gotta get some water. We do have some dew, so... We do have that. We're good on that. We should be able to fill this back up. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. There's our meat. There we go. Let's go like this. Perfect. Perfect. Nice. Okay, we got the door done. And then let's get the core done. It's probably going to take a little bit more, isn't it? Bronze blade, copper pipes, basic leather. Oh. Okay. Not too bad. All right, let's get um yeah, let's get the water rolling. Hey Genesis, how you doing Genesis? What's going on? Sandrock combat feels a bit Genshin like, Genshin like. <laughs> Where's my dew? I got to find my dew, my mountain dew. Where is it at? There it is. I don't think I needed to do that, actually, now thinking about it. I, I don't. I didn't. No. I No, I did not. I did not need to do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did not need to do that. 
Send it! There we go. I think we need two of these, right? No? Maybe it's not the sauce. Okay. Adjust that. Ball. Perfect. It's not a lot, but it's something, I guess. It should go in. Basic leather. Thank you. Oh, an engine. We're going to need to do an engine. Copper pipes. Bronze blades. You don't need the copper plates anymore. The copper pipes. That rolling. I can actually cancel that. Stop using our water on that. All right. blades okay. <clears throat> hey Ellie how you doing Ellie good to see you hope you're doing well yeah can we actually make another set no we can't we can't make another set I was hoping we can make another upgraded um, set of tools or even at least weapons but that's not the that's not the case right how long will this take? About four minutes to do. All right. All right, all right, all right. Oh, there's Mian. Hey, Mian. Hi. Hi. You were awesome in there. I heard you knocked out 20 of those Giggler guys with your bare hands. I just wish I could have been there to see it. Huh. You're saying that's not true? But Justice said... Mm, well, Justice... Look. See ya. He, he gets a little exaggerate. Hello, Crystal. Hey there. <sighs> I laughed at those dumb lizard folk before, but I ain't laughing now. Sandrock can't afford to lose the moisture farm. It's okay for adults to be without food for a couple of days, but the kids, they're the ones Big that suffer. Hmm. <laughs> How's the game? My boyfriend got it for me pretty early on and I couldn't get into it because it just wasn't polished enough, but that was a long time ago. Yeah, it's good now. It's definitely fun for sure. I'm I'm really enjoying it. Absolutely. You should give it a second run. Yeah, it's almost going to be full release here this summer. So definitely for sure. Your second week of recovery from surgery. Oh, very good. I'm glad. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're here. That's good. It's good that you're here. Good to talk to you again. Glad that surgery sounds like it went successful, yeah? Wasn't there an 18 hut? Yeah, that's what it was. Fireside meeting. Simmer down now. Come on, simmer down. We all know the hydrogel crisis is indeed dire. We're all about to starve to death. No, no, we're not. Calm down, Cooper. Owen came up with a plan, and I think it's as mighty good as any. You should hear him out. Owen? Thank you. <clears throat> Last night, I sat down with Miguel and the minister and did a rough inventory estimation of all the food we have in stock in and around Sandrock. It turns out we actually have enough food, uh, probably, to last for a bit, but it's unevenly distributed. Get to the point, man. We ain't got all day. Hey, 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 Cooper, pipe down. Pipe down. I'm going to take that freaking hat off you. <laughs> right. So we'll use my stage for us to do a dance off where you need to donate some food to enter. And I have prizes. You lost me there, partner. What the what? I really don't see the reason to dance when we're about to starve to death. Cooper. Knock it off. I second that their notion. Without the drama. Thank you. Uh... What Owen meant was since there are some of us who are more fortunate than others when it comes to food security, it is our responsibility to make sure society as a whole perseveres through this difficult trial. Owen has volunteered his stage and time to organize a food drive in the form of a dance-off contest. Anyone can enter by donating some food. The church will help distribute the food to the people that need it. We'll show our adversaries what Sandrock generosity is all about. Plus, it'll give our builders enough time to do their business. 
That made sense. It did, yeah. I could try to track down some of that old world canned food you see in the ruins sometime. I could do some extra cooking. Meat, uh, better not to make people's lives any worse. Oh yeah, Grace, can't, she can't cook, huh? My gum is just crazy enough to work. All right, minister, you'll have your food drive. We'll be seeing y'all at the dance off. Be there, or be square. And by square, I mean. Hey, Anna Mama, how you doing? Yes, yes, it's wonderful to have you on board, dear Cooper. Now, what about the rest of y'all? Can I count on the good people of Sand Rock to come together and make the first ever Sand Rock dance off and food drive a resounding success? Hey, Summer Sunshine, how are you? Hey, Stephen Cronford, how you doing? Splendid. I'll be sending out more details via the mail. And with that, I hereby declare this here fireside meeting to be adjourned. Conserve water. Woo! Very well, Cooper. See, what I meant by square was not necessarily the four-sided figure we've all come to know and love. So on and so forth, etc., etc. Sorry, Cooper, what was that? I, I wasn't paying attention to you. <laughs> All right. Sorry, uh, Cooper, I, you know. Hey, buddy. Ranch part-time work. Yeah. Back again, huh? Well, you know, it takes a long darn time to get this manure cleaned up. You here to give me another helping hand? Yeah, sure, I guess. Why not? All right, back again. Well, you know, it takes a long... You already said that, my good man. That's all right. We did it. Mm -hmm. Here's your freaking manure. Still ain't finished picking up that thing? No, dude, I actually, I, I, I did, I did. Yeah. I think that smell of success in you, my friend, reek of it. Well done, here's today's pay. So, I don't know if that, that's a weird quest there. It's a very weird quest. Yeah. Oh, wrong one. In here. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, the hair dryer. Copper gears, we're gonna need that. Thank you. Uh, bronze blade, we're gonna need that. Thank you. I think that's all we're gonna need right now. Yep. Thank you. Nice. Tis tis tis. The dance off is really fun, especially when you get it all wrong. Is that kind of like a dance dance revolution thing? Can't remember the dance off. It's like you have to like hit the keys correctly or something rather. Processor. Nope. Copper pipes. Yeah. Did enough copper pipes. Let's see. Bronze blades. One more copper pipe, please. Okay. It is. Just choose the easiest level and hope for the best. Wait, can you actually choose like your difficulty on it? If so, I'm gonna like do the hardest one and get schooled, dude. <laughs> uh, show me up. Put me down. All right. Give me some more bronze bars, please. Worcestershire sauce? Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce, right? Worcestershire? Worcestershire? We call it Worcestershire, I think, where we live. You, you want some Worcestershire sauce, yo? I want some Worcestershire sauce. You want some Worcestershire sauce? I accidentally... I made a fool of myself one time. I accidentally called the uh, cat from uh, Alice in the Wonderland the Worcestershire, uh, Worcestershire cat. When it was the, it's the Cheshire cat. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. You freaking idiot. I know. I know. But I accidentally called it the Worcestershire cat. Worcestershire saw it. Look, I don't want to explain my stupidity here. All right. Copper pipes. There we go. Nice. Wait a sec. Engine. From the Ufala. Oh, okay. From the Ufala. 
We gotta go to the Ufala, salvage the breach, hazard ruins, or the Uf Okay, very well. We have to get in engine. I'm surprised we don't have any engines. Interesting. Yeah, I'm surprised we don't have any engines. Put the basic leather in there. Put that in there, that in there. We'll just kind of store everything. I'm not really, like, concerned about actually making, um, like, like, organizing. I'm not really interested in organizing. You don't really need to organize in this game now, thinking about it. Yeah. Now, can I put these diaries in there? Nice. Whoops. There we go. Cool. Nice. Hey, Adriana, how you doing? What's on, Adriana? Good to see ya. When we grew up, we called it Wash Your Sister Sauce. <laughs> yeah, can you get the Wash Your Sister Sauce, please? <laughs> Excuse me, what? <laughs> what sauce? Who sister? Why am I doing this? <laughs> I gotta slap it on a big piece of meat here. All right. Very well. From the church. Dear Sand Rockers, we've decided at the fireside meeting last night to hold the first ever Sand Rock Dance Off Contest at the Blue Moon Outdoor Stage. In two days, festivities will begin at 1400. We're using this as an opportunity to perform a food drive for the more unfortunate citizens of Sand Rock during this food crisis. Anyone who donates food will be able to participate in the Dance Off. Burgess will be handing, handling the sign up, so talk with him. Owen will be giving out the prizes to the top three finishers at the dance-off, so practice your dance moves and see you there. Very well. Good fool. Yeah, let's go get some more water, dude. Uh, whoops, we'll get more water and maybe, like, slow it down on the, um, on the recycle, recyclers. Got a little bit of do action. No. That might be enough. No, maybe not. Uh, I need water. Thank you. A little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of water. There you go. There's a little tiny, tiny bit of water. It's blades. God, what are we doing the copper gears for then? Did we already put those in? Yeah? Okay. Bronze blades. Stop this. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No more. No more. Enough. Bronze blades are in here. There we go. Oh, we need copper gears for that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Never mind. Continue. Continue what you were doing. My bad. I'm sorry I interrupted you. Continue. We need bronze bars for this. Okay. Got it. There we go. Hey, Awful Gaming, how you doing? That's a lot of materials for those freaking blades, dude. That is. That's quite a bit. Alright, let's go get some water. It looks like there's a side quest, too. Hello, Burgess. Want to know the rules of this dance-off? Everyone loves rules. Sign me up. To enter the dance-off, you need to donate at least one item to the food drive. Easy. Registration won't be open forever. And during this time, everyone is encouraged to donate whatever they can into this little basket here next to me. One is all that's required to enter the competition. But if you donated even more, I'm sure lots of people would really appreciate it. Thank you, Burgess. Now, the dance-off will be here sooner than you think. So, the night before, make sure you get your vitamins, and also plenty of rest. Vitamin D, I assume. D for dance. That's exactly what we use vitamin D for. D is used for dance, yep. Hey Jefferson, when are they coming out with the caveman version of My Time at Bedrock Yabba Dabba Doo Edition? Look, that's the DLC. Wait a sec, are these the only items you can donate? Oh no, we it's some we gotta donate some sandberries we picked. Yeah, it looks like those are the only things we can donate. Very well. I'll donate a little bit of well, we can do a little bit more, yeah. We can definitely do a little bit more. I was I was gonna like donate bread, dude. You know, why not? Why not? 
Hey, Queen, how you doing, Queen? Oh, man. Hi, man. Hey, how's it going? Getting used to the desert heat? No, I will never get used to the desert heat. I've been trying to think of ways to fit in and make new friends around here, and I came up with a plan. It involves you, too. I'm happy. So, I've noticed that there's plenty of stuff around town that needs fixing. I guess people gave up on commissioning those things for some reason? Anyway, we could prepare some materials, then roll through town and fix everything we see. Okay. We can repair. What do you say? I mean, yeah, but, like, we got a lot going on right now, lady. Nice. The San Rockians... San Rockers? Whatever, they're going to appreciate this a lot. Here's a list of materials you can get together. When you're finished, come back to me and we can start our builder cruise. Very well. You've been trying to get all the achievements on Porsche, but one is broken, so I kind of took a break. It's a grind, though. Which which achievement is that? What do you have to do in that? All right, there we go. I guess we got to get a bench. Got to get a bunch of other things going on. All right, very well. You can help out me in. I don't have a problem help with, helping out with me in. We are going to need to go get engines, so I probably shall go down below into the, uh, into the, you know, what, the, the thing with the, with the mining, you know, water conservation, please. Amount of dew needed to make water decrease by two. Hell yeah. Thank you. Oh, look, is that Fang right there? It's Fang. All right, all right, all right. Actually, before I do this, let me go get water and then I'll go down to the ruins. Yeah, I should make another. I really, really, really should make another chest or two. I really should do that as well. <sighs> Good stuff. All hailed the queen. D is not used for that within the chat, I would think. <laughs> uh, hello, Burgess. I have 48 gold. How much can that get me? That can get me that? Okay. I have zero money as it stands. That's all right. We'll go pick up maybe a commission here. See if we can get some money rolling in. Haven't had, had it, haven't had to change my outfit in some time either. We've had the same stuff for for a good while, like the clothes and all that. It's not where I wanted to go. Hey man, let's see, let's see, let's see. Two twenty nine. Ooh, Amira again, Amira. Who's offering the most? $3.97 for a wooden barrel? Or wooden storage? A lot of money. Five days to complete. I don't know if it costs a lot of materials to actually make a wooden storage or not. That I'm not sure. But I do need to make wooden storage as it is. I have a feeling it doesn't cost a lot. I might do this one. I have a feeling it doesn't take a lot of materials, so bring it. Basically what I have to say about that. Yeah, just bring it. Beating Yawn is the best thing ever. <laughs> wow, no need to roleplay my financial status IRL. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> There we go. Slide it into the DMs. Perfect. All right. Um, let's go here. Four, one, okay, so it, it takes copper. It's all right. Let me make five. Four for, you know, my boy, and then one for me. That's what we'll do. Uh, we'll slide that there. Slide this right over here. Rotate. How do I rotate again? Q. Okay. This will be a nice 700 hit for us. I like it. And then let's interact with it. Throw, throw it in there. Doesn't matter. Just put it all in there. I don't care. Just put it all in there. It don't matter. Well, except for that, maybe. Just put it all in there. Yeah. Maybe just not the scraps. The model pieces I'll have to, like, look into a little bit more. You know what? Even the clothes I need to sell. Data discs... I'll hold on to. I gotta go to Chi and see if I can do some more research. Yeah, these... The model pieces I'll hold on to. That in there. That in there. 
Hold on to the scraps. Okay, that's better. That's better. Go. Okay. Grab some of this. Good, good, good. How we doing over here? We need one more saw. Blade. We're too short. Two bronze bars short. Don't worry, that will be good. Okay, we're, we're doing good, yeah. Alright, let's go and drop this off real quick and get like 700 goals. He's right there, isn't he? Yeah, he's right there. Owen! Hey, buddy. Hey there. Thank you. You're welcome. Very happy that we could do that pretty fast, too. Nice. Ooh. All right. <laughs> no, we could probably get berries, too, to donate as well. <clears throat> Sell your soul to Logan to get money? Dude, I know a lot of people in chat that would sell their anything <laughs> for Logan to Logan. They're like, hey, how you doing? I'm like, dude, I didn't understand the hype here. You know what I mean? I didn't understand the hype here. I was new to the hype. Grab some of this. We're going to go down into the mines here. It's about 12 p.m. Let me donate these berries real quick. Everything seems to be sell, uh, sell for pennies as well. I feel like the economy in Porsche was loaded. You could sell your builds for so much more. Is it kind of like one of those things where it's just like they entice... Not, well, maybe not entice you, but they encourage you to want to be able... Or like they encourage you to... Um, they want you to... Uh, they want you to do commissions quite often. Like, are they trying to put, I guess they're, they're trying to, in a way, put a cap to how much money you can make per day. Depending on where you're at in the story of the game, possibly, right? That's what it kind of feels like. Because, like, okay, right now, one commission per day. Eventually that will change, right? I don't know if you can actually get engines from this. I don't think you can. Yeah, I don't think you can. Oh, selling the decoration around house will net you 4k immediately? What? And then you what? Do you have like a blank canvas or something? Mechanical junk pile? Does that have engines in it? Does a mechanical scrap give engine? I don't really remember. I don't think so. I'll keep my eye on this. Alright, let's go down. Eat a sandberry. Oh, we do have, um... Yeah, we do have our dried meat going on there, too. Down we go! <laughs> I beat Jan in my first month. The game is designed to earn money through commissions. You beat him in the first month? Crazy. Adrianus has wanted to get on here and say hello to everyone. Hope your day has been blessed. Gonna go back and watch the stream from the beginning and don't want to miss anything. All very well, Adriana. Hope you enjoy. Good to see you. Good to see you indeed. Thank you for saying hello to everybody. I appreciate that. Oh, God. I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't get it. Do you understand? <laughs> I don't get it. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Whoa. Here we go.
You can only get the engines in the ruins? Okay, good shout, good shout. You were right, the Katori as ascent is supposed oh accent is supposed to be New York. The voice actress isn't doing a very good job. It's <laughs> that's what it sounds like. It sounds like a New York accent, but I was like, ah is that intentionally designed or I don't know. There we go. They should have got some chick from New York, dude. It has like a hint of it. But not fully, you know? It's like, oh yeah, I guess. I could see it. There we go. Can you go up, please? Whoop. I need that tin ore, though. Yeah. Go, go, go. Nice. Hey, Kyla, how you doing? What's going on? Hope you're doing well too, Kyla. Imagine do imagine Elaine doing Katori's voice. <laughs> Dude, Elaine. She was a spicy one, I tell ya. I liked her in Seinfeld. I don't know, she just had that she just had that just had that personality. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know how else to explain it. I know she's like a made-up character and all, but like, come on now. Here we go. She had a, just a, it's like one of those, like, you know, I got the spice factor on you. There we go. Basic toolbox, windmill weather vein piece. Very well. Grab this tin ore real quick. How's today, Sandrock? How is Sandrock today? Is this... Oh, shoot! That scared the living crap out of me. As I was reading there. Oh, my God. Is this the area you couldn't get into last time? Um... The area you couldn't get into last time, I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, what was that? Old parts? Drop down below. Oh, yeah. You go down, yeah? Keep digging. Keep digging. Nice. Little old parts there, very well. Gonna go for that too up there. Get the tin ore. Yeah, remember to open the toolboxes. Yeah, that's for sure. That is for show, for show. For show, for show, for show, for show. The dingo ate your baby. The dingo ate your baby. Oh yeah, yeah. You guys super upset too, but I love it. Okay, nothing very much out of that. All right. A dingo ate your baby. Not enough stamina. Don't worry, we got it. Was that it? Yeah? Okay, that was it. Huh. I guess I could go down. Yes. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, wow. There's so much stuff down here. Art Museum. F. Another windmill. Double F. Basic toolbox? Okay, I'll take it. A dingo ate your baby. Okay. Push it through, push it through. 
How much stamina do we have? All right, we're running a we're, we, I don't know. We're going to be running out here. Do I worry about the tin ore? Do I go straight down? Hmm. There's a part of me that feels like I just go straight down. I do. Perfect. That's exactly why. <laughs> oh, yo. Okay, so this is another far place we got here, but I think that's going to be that. We're going to back out of there. We're almost one more level away from getting the engine level. So level seven is the engine level. Yeah. It, the mines are. The mining reminds me a little of Deep Rock Galactic. It's a good game, too. Deep Rock Galactic is a good game with friends. You gotta definitely, like, I don't know. I only played that game co-op. I never played that game solo, but it's a fun game with friends, too. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go before the dingo H.O. baby. The baby H.O. dingo. And that's, that would be... <laughs> <laughs> that would be something. Burgess, are you spying on spying on me? Get out of here. Get out of here, you freak. What's wrong with you, man? You are spying on me. Paper. I only got one for one meat. Yikes. Grab some of that. Grab some of that. this perfect all righty we'll now add that bronze blade baby and now the only thing we need to do is just add the two engines that is it and then we are uh, done with that i guess in the meantime we can sit here and scrap this stuff go scrap this stuff go and we'll go more mechanical there you go and also, we'll just go ahead and hit the sort all button. And then I think I might go to the museum and see if I can put some of the stuff together. I don't know if I can or not. I mean, but maybe I shall. But maybe I shall. I hope we get the drill in the next update with the factory in the greenhouse. The guitar, the guitar in this game is so soothing. Oh, letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. The Civil Corps. F. <laughs> Dear Cans. Just wanted to let you know, commissions are a two-way street. That's right. You can commission us over at the Civil Corps to do a bit of ruin diving for you from time to time. We can pick up some of the stuff you need while you're uh, doing our patrols, while we're doing our patrols, then mail it to you. Our commission board is, did anybody ever use the civil course? Now, the first time I played this game, I don't think I ever really used the civil course. Um, like I never really hired them. Th does anybody use them? Like, are they actually like that good? But I never really took it or did it. By the way, uh, Nia says, wow, really? Uh, Cans, I worked really hard and your boss said I'm really a quick... <laughs> wow, I try that again. Cans, wow, really? I worked really hard and your boss said I'm a really quick learner. I thought it was kind of bad, though. I'm so happy you liked it. No problem, Nia. Nia, just so you know, <laughs> I'm messing around with some other ladies in this town. And they're probably twice your age. All right. Um, let's see here. Um, let's go. Let's builder crews first. So wooden boards. Let's do that. Yeah. Wooden boards. Grab the grinder stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wooden boards. I don't know how much that's going to give us. Or ten, we need 10? Okay. A, a bench? Oh my lord. We have so much stuff that we need to do. Hey, the train's here. Nice. 
Dude, I feel like we've had this horse for so long. We gotta talk to Chi, too. Yeah. Gotta talk to Chi. Uh, Cooper. Hi, oh, dang, Cooper. It's you again. Hey, Cooper. Yeah? Back again, huh? Yeah, no darn time. You and the manure. Why can't you pick up your own manure? That's what I don't understand, sir. Mm hmm. Now, wait a sec. Yeah? Those gigglers, I curse their funny sounding name. Oh, okay. <laughs> so long, partner. So long, partner. Guess so. But do I have enough for you? <laughs> Hang on a sec. Okay, I need four manures. I don't know why I do this. The reason why I do this is for the money, but like... Cooper, I don't know. I hate to say. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Cooper and me, we just, you know, just feel like we just don't, we don't, we don't connect. You know what I mean? I don't feel like I connect with him. I'm not connecting on a, on a certain level with Cooper. I feel like he's like the neighbor that asks for too much. You know? I feel like he's the neighbor that like you go over and you like, hey, you know, I don't have any sugar. Can I borrow some sugar? You know? Like, can we have some Kool-Aid? He's like, you got Kool-Aid, no sugar. You got peanut butter, no jelly. And you got ham, no burger. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's Cooper. That's who he is. And then Kyla says, I'm going to drop a sticker on you. Hey, Kyla. Thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate that. That was very, very much kind of you. Thank you very much, Kyla. Big ups to you. Hey, Adrian says, hi, everyone. Hello. I've not been able to watch live for a long time, but I watch reruns. Well, how you doing? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well, though. Hey there. Yeah, dude. Um, I have your manure, hey. I believe. I got five, right? Four. Ah, four. I got four. I thought I got five. This damn manure. He's wasting my time. Time is money, dude. <laughs> and you're wasting my time. Even though I am technically doing this for money now, ain't I? Whoa, what's down there? I don't think I ever remember that. It looks like somebody's getting married down there. Or a birthday celebration, or maybe a date. Maybe that's a date. I don't know. That's pretty cool, though. It's repeated so many times a manure one. And then what happens? Like, you go around and you pick up four manures and they don't have the fifth one lying around? Like, what's happening right now? Is that what you're telling me? Huh? I, I can't find the fifth manure? Get out of here, Coopers. This is why we don't see eye to eye. You're trolling me. There's the manure. Thank God. I need to bake a cake. Can I borrow some flour, milk, egg, sugar, bowl, spoon, and I need to use your oven as well? Oh, by the way, uh, can I borrow your car, too? And then borrow your microwave. Howdy. Yeah. Yeah. Smell that. It's the smell of success, and you, my friend, reek of it. Get out of here. Well, thank you for the money, nonetheless. Appreciate it. Let's go down. Uh, let's go down under and see if we can get the, our engines now. You stay here, horsey. All right. Let's see if we can get our uh, down to level seven now. Wait till Owen starts asking you the Blue Moon commissions every two days for fish and crops. He better not. He better not. I'm gonna have an issue with him. Me asking. That's a place for proposing that will be unlocked by a mission in the future. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. 
That's where you're gonna propose. You can't propose anywhere. You have to propose in that one specific spot. That's all right, yeah. I was addicted to tin ore, and I shall be addicted again to tin ore. Frick, I can't, uh, I can't give up my addiction to tin ore. <laughs> I know it's very unhealthy, but I need it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, gotta go farther down. <laughs> the jetpack thing is weird. There's like a jetpack bug going on. I don't know. I don't know what that jetpack bug is. That came with like the new hotfix. Because before the hotfix, we didn't run into no like jetpack bug. Whoa. I know I should get the tin ore, but then I also should focus about going down to level seven. All right, all right, focus, focus. You gotta focus. Level seven, that's where you're at. That's where you need to be. That's where the engines are. You gotta get there, sir. Yes, you're right. Focus. Don't get distracted. There we go. I could be getting all these yellow bits here. But I'm not. I'm moving to the engines. Give me to the engines, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Nice. Hey, Lucy. How you doing, Lucy? What's going on? You're gonna lurk and snuggle with the pup? Yo, that's awesome. Just wanted to show some love. Thank you, Kyla. I appreciate that. Enjoy those freaking snuggles. There we go. Alright, we need two engines two engines that's a metal coil okay all right all right all right all right all right um we'll just continue this way that's fine oh god this way okay i remember down here dude i do I remember. I remember. He remembers. I should be, like, looking down there now, shouldn't I? I should. I should. All right. You're right. I should be digging. That's not good. Engine, 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 right? No? Old parts, though. There's a piece right there. Now you get the engines from the yellow, uh, yellow hits. Yeah, there it is. Alright, answering my question. We need one more. We need one more. Might need to go up there. If you could find one engine, Rocky sells an engine. He sells one a day. Yo, that's a good shout. How much is it, though? Is it a lot of money? There you go. Yeah. Look at that, it's so sketchy. I don't know why the developers would put something like this, right? Why would they put like a a a surface that was not like completely solid? Like what's the point of just having like like this? Like why is there why does there need to be a wood plank that needs to have spaces in it? it there doesn't. It's weird. <laughs> Continue. Civil Corps Commission, you get one engine and simple circuits you'll need, but you need to unlock the breach first. Very well. Very well. 200, 300 goals for the engine. Very well. Okay, good shout. Have a good night, Christina. Do take care. Thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah. Ooh. 
Ooh. Also, uh, if you update your scanner, you'll be able to see the names of the stuff you're looking at. Oh. How do you update? It's like upgrade, right? Upgrading the, the scanner. How do you upgrade the scanner? You know? You think? It's like for the decrease the poly count of the objects in the game and make it run smoother. Okay, I can see it. I just don't know if those wood planks would affect the gameplay. <laughs> the game as much, maybe. I don't know. There we go. Continue. There we go. Ooh. Don't blow up. There we go. Hey, Artuidus. What's going on? Afternoon to you. You can upgrade the scanner from the exit entrance menu. Upgrade device. Oh. Oh, you need parts. Okay, okay. Very well. Got it. There we go. Okay. Wait a sec. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're still in the, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Never mind. We're good, we're good. Why? Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's the other engine. Okay, we got the second engine. Woo! He gone! He gone! We did it! Hooray! Working again as usual, but lurking as much as I can. Oh, very well. I just realized cans flap invisible wing to steer the jetpack height. Uh, invisible wing. Hey, oh. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Let's finish it off now. I got your engine right here, baby. Hooray! And we leveled up too, level 17. Nice. Now we just need to install it. Cool. Um, we could technically take this. Well, let's take it. All right, let's take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take it. Take me to this who looks like Sully from Monsters, Inc. 15 goals. Yakamel. That's like the most aggressive transportation system of all time. Holy crap, dude. That thing is jerky. You get sick on that thing. Alright, here we go. Hey, Zeke. Fix it up. Perfect. What the heck am I doing up there? Whoa, hey, careful. That's an OSHA violation. We're getting moisty, baby. We're getting moisty. You know, if you weren't able to build this, we would have had to revert back to basic farming. In this heat and condition, most of the crops would have died. And that'd be the end of Sand Rock. It was that bleak. Wow. But you saved the day for all of us. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me do some cleaning around here. Then I'll teach you a few things about desert farming like I promised. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Nice. We got so, oh, you know what? We got a pair of pants. Desert Defender pants. How cool is that? Uh, by the way, I don't think I opened up my, um, did I open up all my toolboxes? No, there's some right here I have not. Okay. Let's do, we, I mean, we have to wear that. Hell yeah, dude, right? Stamina, uh, plus five, 187, um, HP, 241, stamina plus four. I mean, I think guess the shorts are technically better, but I'm gonna wear the pants because I just like the look of them. 
It's fine. Can we have a proper front door, too? I feel like this front door is, like, not proper. Maybe I'm wrong about that. A thorny jumper? What the heck? I guess I'll ride it back. I'll spend a little bit of extra money and ride it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get the crazy taxi here. It is kind of like crazy taxi now, isn't it? Did I go to the wrong? No, I went to the right station. Okay. He is a gentle giant. I agree. Who even wears pants anymore? You know, it's more of a question of who even wants to wear pants anymore. I still want to wear pants. Yeah, I still do. Wooden boards. Do I have enough for more? I don't have enough for more. Oh, my. Lordy, lordy. I think we'll get enough uh, wooden boards in the morning with this scrap. At least the availability. Let's go here. Add that. Thank you. Now, the next thing I actually want to do is... Um, assemble the... The civil furnace. Was it the civil furnace? Yes, civil furnace. So bloodstone cores, bronze pipes, bronze frame, marble, brick. Okay. I knew we needed marble. There was the marble. Now let's get that going. Let's see if we can get some marble over here real quick. It's a monument over here. The monument's not over here. Maybe there's some hard rock though. Yeah, hard rock, hard rock cafe, baby. Woo. Hey, Cassie, how you doing, Cassie? <laughs> Since the pandemic started, mostly nobody. <laughs> <laughs> you can upgrade your furnaces directly wait a sec so you don't have to like assemble them or anything okay i'll look into that uh maybe pop that a little bit ah it's a little bit off I unlocked the personal achievement in 2022. I wore shorts every single day of the year. Never had to wear pants. Dude, that's impressive. And that's the thing. Like, me, myself, um, I'm a very uh, pant wearer. I, I'm a big time pant wearer. Yeah. The bronze stick, bloodstone core, and the bronze pipe. Very well. I guess this is like an easier way, right? To... So if I were to, hang on a sec, if I were to do it from here, and I wanted to upgrade this, what would be like the easier way to, to kind of keep track of things? I guess just come back here every time, right? So like bronze stick and then like a bloodstone core, which I don't think I can do, but at least the bronze stick, right? Oops. Bronze pipe. No, maybe I can't do that quite yet. Yeah, I got to go to the commerce, I believe. Yeah, we gotta go to the commerce. We'll go in the commerce two in the morning. Yeah, we'll go in the morning. Have a little bit of that. Maybe add a little bit of water. There we go. Perfect. Maybe some food? No food. No food. Add that in there. Thank you. Okay. Should be good. Sort all. And then, like I said, we need to go into the, um, we need to go into the museum and all that. You could have worn the shorts to the wedding. That would have been hilarious. Level 2 work table for the bloodstone core. Okay. Donate food is over. F. 
Was watching the stream on my TV from the bed. Fell asleep. Curse you for having a soothing voice to sleep. Oh, very well. Hey, if I'm putting you to sleep. There's either two things. One, I'm really boring. Or two, like you said, baby. Hey, you know, that's peaceful vibes. That's what I like about it. That's what matters. Peaceful vibes. From Zeke. Builder Cans, the Sandrock Moisture Farm is now fully operational again. I'm ready to show you what I know about desert planting. Before we do anything, though, you need a you need a planting kit. So here's a recipe for the planting toolbox that you can make at your work table. Once you got that, come to me at the Moisture Farm. Very well. And then a thank you letter. Oh. Grass is greener. Thank you again for your kind donation. With your help, we reached our target. Here's your reward. Nice. Nice. We're going to do the dance off, dude. It's going to be sick. Gonna be sick. Marble slabs, copper wire, hardwood sticks, and machine upgrade kit. Three of them? Wow. That's quite a bit. That is quite a bit. Basic planting. We'll do that. There we go. We got that taken care of. Um, Give me, give me, give me, give me uh, water. Where's the water, baby? This Okay, add it, 11, nice, cool, that's a good pick-me-up, talk to Zeke, um, and then all that good stuff, and then we'll go to the commissions and all that, hey Zeke, here I'm hoping beyond all hope that I can fall asleep tonight, do your magic hands, <laughs> hey, the hydrogel is working great, thank you Zeke, like I said, in a way, I guess you could say you saved the town. Okay. Things are growing again. And with the Civil Corps on increased alert, I don't think we have too much to worry about from our scaly pals. Now might be the time to make good on my promise to Matilda and teach you about desert planting. Yes, I want the farm. Come at me. First off, it ain't easy. Before you can plant anything, you gotta understand a little concept we around here call the straw grid. I won't bore you with the details, but basically the soil around here ain't good enough to plant much of anything. That is, unless you make a square out of straw around your seeds, protect them from the wind. Put a bunch of squares together and well, that's why we call it the straw grid. I kind of forgot how the whole farming uh, works in this game. Here. Let me show you how to make a little straw fence in sandy soil. Okay, very well. You get the machine kits from killing the boss roosters and the boss Yakimel. You can also buy it from Hugo. Water it daily. Good shout. Maybe add some fertilizer. And then... Wait. Once your crop is fully grown, you can harvest it. Oh, if you plant often in the same place your soil will retain some nutrients and slowly upgrade over time. Hmm. That's about it. Um, if you have any other questions, I've actually written a guide on the subject. Flip through it if you get time. Here's some other stuff to get you started too. Just uh, do all those things, I said, and everything should go great. For starters, why don't you try growing some sand rice? We'll see how it goes. Hey, Cassie G. Cassie G says, I remember I was under underwhelmed by the farming in the last game. Hopefully it's expanded in this one. I don't remember the farming in the last game. Um, but maybe definitely, definitely people in the chat would, would know more better than I would. But I think I remember it being somewhat kind of different. This farming, look at this, this farming, um, how do, how do I explain it? It's a little bit different than most other farming games, right? So harvest the sand rice did you give me a, a tool sir a couple of daggers on me now don't i oh wait 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 wait. you gave me okay that's good okay whoops i just all right so you add this right you go use planting kit right unlocked planting sorry no that's not how you do that That's the sand rice, right? Oh no, this is the sand rice over here. Wait a sec. Time out. No, that's the sand rice. This is the sand rice. Let 
Is it like, oh, harvest sand rice like at home, right? I'm a little confused on this one. Wait a sec, hang on, time out. Zeke gave you some straw and seeds. Activate the planting kit inside your workshop yard and try to grow some sand rice. Okay, okay. That's what it is. Okay, not here. Go plant it in your place. Got it. Woo! I understand. <laughs> oh no, no, that's not no no, I don't think it's back to I think it's helpful hit uh helpful hints because I wouldn't know otherwise for sure. Let me hang hang on. Let me go back over here and come back this way. Why did the music change? But it sounds so freaking lovely. I wanted more of that music right there. Farming in the last game was just planting in different size planter boxes. Very underwhelming. Oh, okay, okay. Very good. Oh, the dance! That's what the noise is and the music! Yeah! Festival store. That's sick. Dancer jacket. The dancer's headband? Yes. Yes, please. Yes, please. Hello, Jan. Bench. Yes, we have 2,500 uh, goals. Where did all that money come from? I'm not mad about it, but I'm just a little confused. Did I rob somebody at gunpoint and I didn't know about it? Did I black out? <laughs> Nice. Stand up and start dancing. All right, here we go. We're going to use a little bit of this uh, farming here. So using your toolbox has been unlocked very, very, very well. Now you can go into the planting mode in your yard from your action wheel. Activate planting mode from your action wheel. Next, choose a seed from your planting toolbar and use the action button. Plants need water and fertilizer to grow well. Walk near a plant to seed to check its status. When your crop is fully grown, move close and harvest it. After harvesting the plant, we'll leave behind nutrients that slowly improve the quality of the soil. You pick up this Im improved soil and move it too. So that's one thing that's really kind of new to this is like, you plant on a certain soil tile, right? And over time, it becomes a better quality of soil, yeah? So for the plants and soil you don't want, select the shovel and then choose them to remove it. Be careful though, they will really be gone and won't enter your inventory. Planting easier, try upgrading your toolkit, then when you use your tools you can activate and hold the plant, water, fertilize, and harvest more plants at the same time over a large area. Okay. I have no water though. Um, so... We want to... Create a straw grid. Yes. Three. And then we want to go seed, seed, seed. I think I might be able to get some water from this, potentially. I guess, honestly, I could go buy some water, right? Exiting the planting mode in three seconds, that's fine. We'll go get some water, we'll go buy some water. So we can make sure we do this like correctly and all that. Hey James, how you doing James? What's going on? Also shout out to pronouncing my name correctly. I'm not upset when people call me Casey, but I'm always impressed when people say Cassie right off the bat. Hey, big ups to you Cassie. Hey, Amira. What are you doing here? Mm -hmm. It's good to hear that most of Zeke's crops are recovering. Just goes to show you the resilience of nature. Huh. I wonder if we can learn from their example. Look. Me, you, me, you, and Katori. That's what's happening here, lady. I'm gonna give you a stone dagger. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a silk scarf. How do you like that? Hi. 
thanks. It's a thought that counts. All right, very well. On your way, lady. On your freaking way. We'll do five. And then I could buy some fertilizer. Holy crap. Three? Just because. Just because, right? Hey, Sus uh, Susumu. How you doing? What's going on? Oh, you could take water from the water tank. That's a good point. I don't think we have a lot of water, though. Hey, Fitrad. How you doing, Fitrad? Oh, God. I guess there is. 45% is decent, no? All right, here we go. Let's start doing this. Let's apply fertilizer. And I'm kind of blocking it. I'll, I'm kind of blocking it a little bit. Hang on, I'll show you here. Wait, that takes... How much fertilizer did that just use? What the hell? Anyways, right here. So you have sandy soil level one. Sand rice. Takes three days. Watered or fertilized. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Takes two a piece? My god. So now it has started two days and X amount of month or X amount of time, not money. And we'll let that kind of go about and do its thing. Nice. Okay, well, that's good. Um, so that's working. I guess in the meantime, we'll go ahead and start doing uh, benches. Easy. And then we need wood boards. Get that rolling. Gotta go get more wood. Got no wood scrap. Wood pile right there. Perfect. Oh, you don't need the you don't need the planting kit. You can just use tab. Oh, that's a good shout. Nice. You need three per three fertilizer per soil. Okay, that's a good shout too. You had to start over, right, with the updates? Yeah, actually, um, I did have to start over uh, with the updates and everything from the last series I did, or from the first series I should say, of this game that I did. Um, my save file uh, was deleted, anyways, and I think that's what happened. When I was playing early access is that I remember there there was an update I believe back then where all the save files got like deleted I believe by the way it's the dance off time I'm gonna dance dance all over them you just wait hang on a sec while I get my wood I'm coming I'm coming, Elizabeth! Hi oh Boom! A train just takes me out. <laughs> On the way to the dance off. Yeah! What's going on? Welcome! I'm here! Yes! Yes! I would like to compete! Yep! Should I do easy, normal, hard? Dude, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a coward. Give me hard. Hit me with the hard, dude. I'm all about it. Let's go. Bring it. This is going to take some serious focus. So if I go quiet, just understand that. Take deep breaths. Focus. Gotta get into a rhythm. Ah! I 
I'm not a coward. That's right. I got first place on hard, baby. Hey. That's right. This is why they paid me the big bucks. <laughs> All right. I win, right? So I get a currency for that. They gave me 90, yeah? Can I dance again? I want to get that headband, dude. Is it a different song? It sounds like a different song. What the frick? Hey! What was that, dude? Now the game's pulling up. Oh my god. Goodness, you seeing this? Hey! Yeah, 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 yeah! That's right, baby, 90. 90! I can get stuff, but I want the headband. I want the headband. One more dance off. Get me hard. Here we go. Or don't. Never mind. This is a freaking hoe down if you've never seen one before. I am hoeing it down right now. Yep. It's all about reaction and speed, baby. That's all it is. Just gotta calm. You gotta be... Stop talking. But you gotta calm. That's all you gotta be. You gotta be calm. You gotta breathe a bit. And let it come to you. I just hold it down. That's how you do it right there. Yep. Yep. Headband is mine. I'm absolutely complete. Hey, that headband, that's a visor, dude. That's a visor upside down. I'm working at Dairy Queen. What are you talking about? That's a headband. I feel cheated. What just happened? I've been cheated. Headband. That's Amanda's Dairy Queen visor right there. That's what that is. Lord have mercy. All right, well, we've got to get these woods still. we got to get a bunch of wooden boards. Let's get that going. There we go. Perfect. Everything's watered. Everything's good. We had a nice hoe down. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Go inside. They lied to me. They absolutely lied to me. That's the weirdest headband of all time. Yeah. It doesn't even go on my forehead. You now work at Dairy Queen? How may I take your order? You want a blizzard? There you go. <laughs> Dance off. Wait a sec. There's not another dance-off, right? These people get dancey dancey all the time? No, dance-off is done. Dance-off is still going? How much dance do these people do? 
My lord. What the heck happened? Three? Do I have enough uh, wooden boards? Not yet, I guess. Almost soon. I'll have nine. All right, very well. From the church? Uh, no doubt you're aware the Day of Memories is coming up on the 27th. Uh, for the next seven days, up until the day of the festival, there will be special commissions available on the commission board. We need all the help we can get getting the decorations ready, so if it ain't too much trouble, please stop over at the commissions board and help us out very well. Bob's reply, Dear Cans, oh, that's interesting. Is this a new fad? Uh, maybe if I get on board now, I'll have something to say when all your friends are talking about it. Would that be okay? Or is it just something you want to be uh, want to do by yourself? Well, let's cross that bridge when uh, we come to it. I haven't started a garden yet. Love you lots. Thank you, Ma. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. That's crazy, dude. I feel cheated at the dance-off. They want me to dance off again. I'll dance dance all over them. I, I will. They'll catch this dance. You want to catch this heat? I'm, I'm willing to, to give it to you. But I still feel cheated. Nonetheless. I'm not... Ugh, Cooper. What do you want this yeah. time? Back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get my manure. Oh, you... You and that freaking manure, dude. You and that manure. I gotta water my crops, huh? I gotta remember to do that. <laughs> What's the special commission we got going on here? Rubber shell, copper wire? Is that it? Has bats on it, so I'm assuming yes. I do rubber shell. Crack it. Nice. Still looks better than the ball cap. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, I have to agree with you on that. Yeah, it does look better than the ball cap. It's supposed to be a two-day event, but sometimes the second day bugs out. As in, like, it doesn't happen. Supposed to dance your socks on. They couldn't get enough of my tail shaking. My tail feather shaking, so they want to see more of it. I'll, I'll challenge them. Maybe I can get a jacket to go along with this freaking visor. It's not a headband. They lied to us. Not no headband. Oh, you can take as many days of the commissions as you want? Okay, good. They don't count towards your regular commissions? Okay, good. That's a good show. All right, so I'll go back and get the other one then. Everybody's have church right now. By the way, how you doing, Ronald? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Matilda, I'm gonna interrupt service. I apologize, but I got your rubber. <laughs> Sorry, Matilda, but I got your rubber right here. Sorry, everybody in service. I don't, you know, I apologize. She asked for some rubber. I got her some rubber. You prepared these quite, uh, quite quickly. Thank you. Have a good one, Matilda. Have a good one, everybody. Sorry to disrupt your time. <laughs> Alright. Let's continue with this. Let's go get the other commission. <laughs> come down, come down. Okay, we're good. I don't... I guess... Yeah, right? You don't take fall damp. Oh, look at the mysterious man. Oh, ho, ho, ho. customer just appeared. People call me the mystery salesman. Always a pleasure. Hello? Hello. What do you sell? You sell a bunch of stuff. What is this? That's a large storage box? Okay. What is this? A relic bag? What is this? Desert Defender Cape? Actually kind of sick. Foggy Explorer Scarf? What is this? A Piggy Bot Casual Wristband? A Seaside Casual Wristband? I mean, I don't have a wristband. A Vintage Pistol. Acquired to learn how to make vintage pistols to be made with bronze pipes, screws, and metal coil at Forge. I can actually get a pistol now, can I, huh? I could. It does have furniture chests that I like. I, I remember the furniture chests, buying those and like opening, opening them and see what I get out of them. It's like a loot box. It's an engagement ring. 
A broken mirror for twenty-two thousand dollars? Are you out of your damn mind? Oh, this is a purple one. Cute desert defender cape. Floral wristband. Bye. Bye. There's a part of me that wants to buy this. There's a part of me that wants to buy this. The bed gives you extra stamina? Oh, I guess eight plus? A large storage box, bigger than the medium storage box. Place this box on top of the smaller one to replace it. The smaller box will return to your backpack. Okay. What the heck is this? Pet brand? Yeah, dude. Goodbye meatball. What? Ooh. The broken mirrors for divorce. Are you serious? A broken mirror, a broken promise, a broken heart. Give this to your spouse to end your marriage? Oh my god. Uh, so you're telling me a divorce is one of the most expensive things you could go through. That seems about right. That seems about right. Okay, yeah. 22,000. So we have about 1,900. We'll buy the bed. This is for one, or is it for three? It's for one. A thousand dollars for one storage box seems quite a bit. I'll be real with you. I'll go for it. Okay. That's all we're doing. Thank you, mysterious man. Thank you, mysterious man. And we'll pick up some more commissions here. Copper wire. Accept and then money. Copper bars. Accept. Cool. Perfect. One thing I found out the other day is that you can pick up your storage boxes without emptying them. So that's kind of nice because, like, some games, most games, you have to like empty them, empty them, and that could be like a drag. I think I already have something for this person up here. I do. They're in service. We'll go in there. And wildflowers is just a locket. Game kind of reminds me. The game kind of reminds me. Reminds me my time at Porsche, kind of. Yeah, this is a sequel. It's uh, my time at Sandrock. It's the guy's mirror, that's why he wears a mask. He broke his mirror looking into it. <laughs> Heidi! Sorry, Heidi. This would be so awkward in real life. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yep, sorry. I know, it's like everybody in town is in service, but like, except me. <laughs> sorry. I know. Terrible person coming through. Uh, Alright. Alright, so that's done. We have the other commission, right? Hang on. The other commission, which was the copper wire and the manure. Frickin' manure. Ooh. And then we have the dance off, which I'm going to be participating in the dance off again. It seems like you can do, what, three dance offs? Three dance offs? Is that manure? That don't look like manure. At the farm. That's where the manure's at. Oh, look, I'm not the only one that's not in service. Hey, unsure. Oh, you're telling your wife that's it's her favorite game? Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Manua.
I know one thing, and I, I think that's one thing about like even Dinkum, right? Like, it's like, ah, oh, shoot, like organizing my, my chests in Dinkum, and I'm like, ah, oh, man, you know, I, it move in my chest, I'm like, ah, oh, I don't want to do that. And then, like, like even in Minecraft, too, it's like, uh, I don't want to move all my stuff, you know. just too much yeah it did say that if you put the chest over the other chest it does replace it and put the small chest back into your inventory at least that's what it said all right so we got Cooper's thing all done I won't go all the way back up to service just to give him crap Looks like everybody has exit service, unless these are all the people that didn't go to service. An hour before the dance-off begins? Very well. Despite being a streamer, he's still shoveling, shoveling crap for the man. <laughs> uh, facts. Freaking facts. Oh yeah, copper wire. We need that. Uh, two of those. Thank you. All right, we'll wait here. I'll take three mirrors just to be safe. <laughs> You're driving me crazy. All I think out, all I think out is chests and booty. I'm half pirate, you know. I do have to ask, Jefferson, are you, like, a really big fan of, like, pirate games? Like, out of just curiosity, like, do you like the pirate genre? Like, that's, that's, that right there is a, a serious question. By the way, I didn't even put on the cape yet. hoo I put on the cape. Um. There. Hat is off. Oh, my accessory is full. Um, wait, we have double scarf on? Oh, no, we have scarf and cape. Let's take the this off. Switch it out with the wristband. That seems pretty good, no? Yeah. The wife got everything done on the first one except the never-ending quest line, and she was so sad when she beat it. Oh, yeah, water the plants. That's a good shout, too. 40% chance to get an extra item when salvaging. Chance to gain double XP when you're... Yeah, we'll do that. I love pirate games. Too bad there aren't any good ones. Did you ever play Sea of Thieves? Did you ever play Sea of Thieves? It's down. Wheat seed and sand rice. Look at our character now. So you can go planting and then water. Oh, they're already watered. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're full watered. I can't water them again. It, they, the water actually lasts for days, huh? It doesn't last. It just it doesn't last for like one day. Like other games, is that what it is? Hang on a second. Let me see. I can place this over. Yeah. Place. Oh, well, there we go. That worked out. Cool. So well, that worked. And then let's just get that and just add it right there. Nice. Big, big storage box now. Hooray! All right, let's go dance, dance real quick. Pretty messed up giving a broken mirror if it's worth 22,000 spend on the mirror. Just to not be married anymore. <laughs> hey, Cooper. Mm -hmm. Cooper, I got your your poo right here, dude. Uh -huh. There you go. Here we go. Focus. Gotta focus. Gotta focus. 
I guess I'm trying to maybe get like other like other things to match my visor. Like there's an outfit you can match, like a purple and black. Oh f me! I'm talking too much. Thank you for the whistles. I appreciate that. Yeah, brings up the confidence a bit. I've never been more focused in my life until this dance dance thing existed. You know, and funny enough, never in my life have I ever played Dance Dance Revolution because of insecurities. <laughs> never like an arcade or anything like that. <laughs> Like, I, I don't want people to watch me do that. <laughs> sea of Thieves doesn't look like it's paced for me. If you played Sea of Thieves with friends, I think you would absolutely love it. That's my opinion, though. Plus, it's on Game Pass, too. Give them a nice little hoe down, cause I want some clothes. I'm feeling myself, man. I am. You ever feel yourself sometimes? I'm feeling it. It does seem like some songs are like hard and then some songs are not that, whoops, are not that hard. You know, there was that one where it like went crazy and stuff, but these last couple songs are not hard. Is this supposed to be hard? Like, is this supposed to be the hard difficulty? Like, I can't imagine what the medium or the easy difficulty would be. You know what I mean? Hey, Michael, how you doing? Love your change series. Have you found any similar type games that you are planning on playing? Ye there will be um, similar type game um, as far as like homeless goes. Uh, we There will be a video on that here in the next few days about an upcoming game coming out. It's not very much same gameplay, but it is a, uh, I'll say a homeless game as well. Yeah. Try to try easy. Let's try normal to compare. Yeah. I mean, really, all this is is like less arrows, I guess. <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely I don't do this one. This one's a little bit of a snooze fest. I'm not stimulated here. I'm kind of just going with the motions. I don't even want to know what easy is. Don't even want to know what easy is. That was interesting. Well then, and you get less coins, I guess, too. Can I go again? No, I want to go again. Let's see here. Um. Expedition is technically better. 
but for cosmetic sake, I'm gonna go with the dancer jacket, I think. Just why not, I think, at this point. Right? Sure, dude. Yeah. Because we're a dancer now. Any of you know? Now, I don't know if this would actually be more or less than what we have. Uh, you know what? Let's check here. I think it's gonna- wait a sec. Reflect damage and critical chance. Yeah, this is gonna be less. But we're gonna be styling. So, we're at a jet set radio now. That's pretty cool. I like it. Hey Tomika, how you doing Tomika? What's going on? I just I just said dinner or just had dinner while I was napping. I was listening to your whole stream. Oh, very good. Very good indeed. Good to see you, Tomika. How do you feel beating a five-year-old at the dance-off? Is that <laughs> is that what I did? Was I going up against Jasmine or something? I didn't even notice if I was. Hello. Good job. I've got mine as well. Let's just take a good rest today and start our special builder crew job tomorrow. Don't worry, I'll come find you in the morning. I love her overalls. Okay. Don't I look pretty swagged out? Yeah. I do have to say though, in this game, the festivals are pretty fun, right? I I, I enjoy the festivals. I mean, would you consider the dance off a festival? I, I kind of, yeah, I would. It's a festival. I mean, the mini games are fun, right? It's not like a whole big thing where like, you know, you know, it doesn't feel like all the NPCs like are very involved, at least with that festival. But the mini game is fun. And I think that goes for like most of the festivals in this game, yeah? They're fun. Have a good one, McSqueeze. Do take care. Do take care. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will talk to you uh, next week. Yeah, next week. Hopefully, yeah? Who is everyone planning on romancing in this game? I can't decide. I was thinking Owen, but he seems uh, to like someone else, so I don't feel it's right to romance him. Who was the other... Um... Is Owen... Owen is the one that likes Amira, right? Is that who it is? Is Owen the one that likes Amira? I think so. Yeah, Owen likes Amira. I want to go for Katori, but like her romance missions are are not fully fledged out either. Oh, we could change this out now. Pick up. Oh God. Uh. Uh. How do we put this in our inventory? Uh. Oh God. Uh. <laughs> Arrange bed. What the frick? Pick up. Uh. F to pick up R to inventory. Oh. So R on it? Uh, sir. Right click is cancel. This is put down. This is rotate. Can you not put your inv- What the heck is going on here? Can you not put your bed? In your inventory? 
What the heck? There we go. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Hey, Lori, how you doing? Happy to catch another live stream. Just got home from a medical procedure. I hope you're okay, Lori. I hope everything, I hope it went well, yeah? Hope it went well. I don't know what the heck's going on here. I don't know how to get rid of the bed. Let's pick up. Pick up. Maybe you have to put the new bed down. I swear R was the inventory for, but maybe not. Is it in the paint? Hide, no. This is so weird. Oh, there we go. T, it's T. So yeah, you have to have the other bed down before you can put that bed down. So it's T. So you don't get the option T until you put that bed down. Okay, all right. Well, that's, we. I'm glad we figured that out. Oh my God. Jesus. You can't put a whole bed in your pocket and that's crazy. <laughs> hey, Suhiko, how you doing? All right, very good. Wait for me, Anne. All right. Ow. Howdy, partner. That's San Rockanese for hello. Hope you got plenty of rest. I prepared the route for our builder cruise. Listen to this. Howdy, partner. That's San Rockanese. San Rockanese for hello. Why do you have to talk to me that way? First stop, the train station. You might have noticed that the floorboards on the platform there are all full of potholes. Well, that ends today. Let's go. Hey, Lorianne. How you doing, Lorianne? All right. Give me. Oh. Let's fix these holes. I will fix these holes. Yes. Let me fix the holes. That'll do it. Thank you. To the next target. Surrounding Martel's Oasis. Okay. Oh, watch out, Mian. Don't get hit by the train. Mian! What the hell was that? Dude, she was running right into traffic. Holy crap. <laughs> she went head on into the train. All right, here we are. Now, is it just me, or is this fence just a little lacking in the looking department? No offense. <laughs> no offense to our friend here. Offense? <laughs> Let's fix up the wonky looking parts and then move on. Very well. We make a pretty good team, huh? We got that done in a flash. All right, on to our next mission. Beach installation in Town Square. Did she just call it a beach installation or a beach installation? Sorry, it's a bench installation? You see, one day, I noticed Vivi walking all over town, looking kind of drained. When it suddenly hit me, there's nowhere to sit down anywhere in the center of town. Thus, benches. Right. Now, I do really love this kind of aspect of it, too, because... One thing I like is like when in farming games, like if you can make improvements to the town and then like they stay forever, I always like that, you know? I like it. Mian is, Mian is so wholesome you could try to romance her instead of Katori, but she's like, I feel like she's like easy target though. Like a pretty good spot? Say, let's see who can build up a bench faster. Ready? Go. Right? She's easy target. Like, she's like the, you know, like, oh, yeah, dude. Mian's like the go-to. Like, she probably is like, if not, she's probably like the most predictable, most, um, most romanced character out of like an entire player base. No? That and Amira. I feel like. Oh, nice. But the real winners are the tired, the weary, the huddle masses yearning to sit freely. Now they have these super cool benches to rest on. Mine looks no, better though. I was actually also thinking we should add some shrubbery. Maybe some flowers. But this soil is just so barren. Ugh, 
and that's neither here nor there. We did good today. Here, a little something as a token of my appreciation. You didn't have to join me on this thing, but I'm glad you did. Let's do it again sometime. I feel like if I were to get with Bian, like she'd be the type of gal that wakes up at six in the morning and then by like 6.30, she says, so you're going to do anything today? <laughs> you know? I'm like, uh... She's like, so are you going to... going to get to work? I'm like, uh... Yo, I just want to go play some video games today. And that's where Katori comes in. Katori's like, okay, yeah. we Let's go play some video games, but you have to pay me. Even though I might be married to Katori, she'd be like still charging me to play the arcade cabinets, you know what I mean? Stuff like that. Stuff like that. Matilda? No, Miguel. Thanks for these. Now the festival will be much that much better. You prepared these quite quickly. Everyone will be thankful for your contributions. No problem there, Miguel. Nobody's romancing Miguel. How come nobody's romancing Miguel? Anybody want to say why? Nobody's romancing Miguel, though. I haven't seen anybody say that yet. Has anyone got to the stage when they can actually talk to Logan, or will that come in later updates? That's a good question. Oh, God. Always makes my heart drop a little bit. I us go get more commissions. I actually am liking this outfit, though. I'm feeling like Herb Sims in the City vibe mixed with, like, Jet Set Radio. Sort of interested in, in, in Chi, but he's just rude. Miguel's so creepy. <laughs> what if, like, he's, like, he, he, like, he's, like, creepy, but then, like, he has, like, this, like, incredible story about him or something? I don't know. That. Amira wants two benches. That would cost a lot of wood. Um. Let's do. Let's do Elsie. I'll give her the basic sandfish trap. We don't really go sandfish trapping that much anyways. So I'm fine with that. Miguel has a huge fan base and apparently Miguel is Katori's age. What? Miguel has a huge fan base? Who? Who's the huge fan base? What are you talking about? Ah. Huge fan base? What? You got a huge fan base? I don't... I don't see it. I'm sorry. Miguel has whole subreddits devoted to him? What is happening in this world? From the church, citizens of Sandrock, I've been informed by the Ataran government that the, that the train service of Sandrock will cease indefinitely due to the damage of the train tracks and bridge caused by the Gigler lizardmen roaming the area across the Shanash, Shanash, Shanash Canyon Bridge. This directly affects our water supply as half of our water comes via the Atara Sandrock rail link. A town meeting will be held at 1800 today to discuss how to deal with these events. Probably should talk to Chi too, huh? I don't see it, dude. Subreddit for Miguel? An entire subreddit? I don't get it. I don't understand. They've confirmed Miguel's age is 48. Let's see. It should tell us, right? 
No, it doesn't tell us, huh? Let's look at Miguel here. Miguel trained in Medes, Mighty's, Mighty's minister program together with Matilda and arrived in Sandrock a while before her. He is very clever and often puts forward many constructive suggestions for the church and the management of Sandrock. Character content available. High. Very high. Huh. Maybe there's a reason why he has an entire subreddit. You know? Maybe it makes sense. If you read the assistant job ad in front of the research center and go inside, you'll unlock a few chi quests to know him. Oh. So. <laughs> They're posting their art with Miguel half naked. What the frick? What is it that they like about Miguel? I don't get it. I, what the heck? What is happening? What is happening on the internet that I don't know about? Hey, Lord. Insane. There we go. I need to get a lot of wood. I've been slacking on the wood game, I will I will admit. The Miguel fans are a whole new world. It's eye-opening. Is it like legit or is it like... Is it like a meme? Like, oh yeah. We're just doing it out of irony or something. Or like we're doing it out of like, uh... Like, is this like a, like a massive sarcasm, like sarcastic thing or something, right? Like, we're just doing this because it's f funny? <laughs> or are people like dead serious about this? Like, yo, don't mess with my Miguel. How dare you? Miguel is life. Miguel is everything. You know? All things I'm not uh, familiar with, I guess. Don't mess with me, rooster. Take your red rocket somewhere else. You know, the voice actor for Miguel did an amazing job. That's why. I haven't really heard him. I can't really think of it. Every time he talks, I... It, he, well, fairly, like, honestly, he rarely talks, though. You know? There we go. He has a Snape vibe to him. Okay. Okay. Hey, well, if you put it in that way, you put it that way. Okay. I feel ya. I feel ya. I feel ya, I feel ya, I feel ya now. I don't think anyone could come close to Alan Rickman though. Facts. I agree. I agree. There we go. That's quite a bit of uh, wood I think for now. Don't touch me, Thorny Jumper. Hey, Lorianne, thanks for gifting out a membership. I appreciate that. Look at that. Lorianne gifted a membership to Nebraska. Big ups to you. Big ups to you. Big ups to you. Thank you, Lori. That was kind of you. Okay, let's see. Let's go... Um, water dew? Yes, we'll get the water dew. Do I need to water my plants still? Let's see how they're doing. No, I, they seem kind of still like watered. Yeah, they are watered still. Okay. Let's sort out our inventory real quick. 
I probably need to go sell a bunch of stuff too. I keep talking about the museum and I keep like not going to the museum. Sell a bunch of clothes too. Is that in there? Right. Let's go to a couple stores real quick. Nice. Okay, we can do that now. Mission's done. Go back to Miguel. We gotta go back to Miguel now to get this uh, commission all situated. I don't like Miguel because he's deep into that whole Church of the Light thing. His own, his right and wrong with his own way of no flexibility. I feel ya. Let's see here. I would like to sell this. I'd like to sell this. I know I could give these away as gifts too, but. Backer's t-shirt, I kind of want to keep just because. It's good. Alright, here we go. Miguel, talk to me. Say something. Thanks for these. Now the festival will be much better. Okay. Look at him. Is he dreamy? Let me talk to him. Hmm. Anything. Contribution to the hydrogel during these trying times will not go unnoticed. Well done, builder. Maybe he's, maybe he's like very sophisticated. Hmm. If you find anything that looks dangerous down in the ruins, be sure to inform us right away. I don't want anything like the Athea dancing robot incident happening here. Take care. Take care. He says, take care. Very well. Miguel's views on the Church of Light get deeper and deeper as the game goes on. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Oh, you know what? We should have probably actually sold the bed to somebody. I don't know exactly who I would sell the bed to. Let me see if I can go up and get some more scout, uh, salvage real quick. Oh, the fireside meeting. Never mind. We're gonna go do that instead. I don't talk to Hugo that often, now do I? I'll be the first one. I'm 30 minutes early, baby. Lee was just naive and dumb. Mary, hey Mary. I feel like Hans wants to be so popular he gets his own subreddit. <laughs> don't be, I hope not. I hope I don't ever get my own subreddit. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Appreciate it. Oh God. That's like my worst nightmare. I feel it. Them gigglers are out of control, picking apart our bridge. They're trying to destroy our way of life and drain our water hole. It only stands to reason that their end goal is world domination and the end of civilization as we know it. Everything you've just said is wrong, Cooper. The gigglers are just trying to survive. They likely fear us more than we fear them. Gentle giant. If and that's the case, why come they went and attacked your farm? Hmm. Settle down, everyone. I think most of us are here now. Before we jump to conclusions, let's hear all the facts. Allow me, Burgess. Oh, uh, sure. I was pretty much done anyway. Burgess, stop it. People of Sandrock. The light has taken upon itself to test us with yet another challenge. Another menace to disturb the peace in this town. First Logan and his gang, and now this. In the past, those gigglers have hit us where it hurts. But we sand rockers, through love and determination, we got back up again. We tightened our belts. Every brother and sister here aided 
and received aid and kind. And then we danced away our sorrows. We turned crisis into laughter. But I'm afraid, folks, this time we cannot turn the other cheek. That bridge is our lifeline to the outside world. This aggression will not stand. If you ever turn the other cheek on me, I'll smack it. Meanwhile, the Alliance Council in Atara, according to our representative Gregorsik, are sitting around in their big building, twiddling their thumbs, sipping fancy tea, while Sandrock dries up into a piddling hole in the ground. This is a local issue. Why should they care? Now we could just sit around and wait for them to get their act together and send help. Or we could solve it ourselves. The way I see it, the course of action is clear. We send the Civil Corps into Gecko Station to clear the Gigglers out. Then, once the coast is clear, we send in our builders to reinforce that rickety bridge. We'll have our water supply back in no time. I reckon it's gonna be us or them. And from where I'm standing, it ain't gonna be us. Who's with me? I hereby authorize Sheriff Justice to come up with a plan. And then we will act. We will protect our sand rock. Very well. Sheriff, <clears throat> it's all up to you now. Uh, he, uh, he, he just ran. He ran, he ran down the hill. What do you, uh, Sheriff, it's up to you and he took off. I'm sorry. He's like, oh crap. <laughs> He's like, I don't want this responsibility. But he took off. It was like he was running from the cops, but he is the cop. What just happened? I'm late for dinner. All right, very well. Burgess is like a teddy bear. He keeps sending me water. Burgess isn't that popular. I wonder why. What the heck? Get out of here. Yeah, I wonder why he's not so popular, yeah? Hmm? What time is it? 2100? I'm gonna go get some meat out here. I know it's gonna be terrible, but I'm gonna do it. Sheriff Justice and then takes off. Like, later. Later. Later, Gator. I have a soft spot for Burgess. He is so awkward. <laughs> Just as I had to get to the bar quickly. I'm doing this completely for the dried meat. Or to get dried meat. That's the only reason why. Oh, it's not enough stamina. Oh, I pissed them off. Oh, keep running. Sorry, sorry, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I was low on stamina. I'm so sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad. Don't follow me. Don't follow me. <laughs> Just decided to get on patrol. Either that or like, he was like... Really, one jerky? That's all we got from that? That was terrible. Alright. Very well. Oh, I should, uh... Keep... I keep forgetting to go to the damn museum. I gotta go to the museum, dude. I do. You can commission animal skin and meat from the Civil Corps, so you don't have to kill the wildlife. Tell them to go hunt for me instead. Be like, yo, I don't want to have to dagger all these Yakimo that just sleep all the time. It should be good for harvest time, yeah? Are we good and ready to go? Where are we at? Yeah, 
It'll be done by today. By noon, it says. It'll be done by noon. Nice. From the Civil Corps. Hey, Cans. Minister Matilda, the acting mayor, has tasked the Civil Corps with clearing out the Gigglers from the station across the canyon at last night's fireside. Me and the crew are formulating a plan, and we're going to need some builder magic to make it happen. Drop by our office soon. From Ernest. Is that what that said? Uh, Atari Time, Sandrock's Bandit King threat, everybody's love interest, Logan the Outlaw, because I'm holding out, everybody. Everybody wants this gentleman here. Everybody hands up, nobody move. What should have been a pleasant ride for upstanding Atarians are on their way to Sandrock, but suddenly a, a wary, wary? As infamous local bandit, Logan and his sidekick, Haru, hoarsely halted a passenger slash cargo train on the Shanash Bridge, overlooking the canyon on the same name. Of the same name. Sorry, of the same name. By the way, thank you for subscribing. Uh, voice for Elite. Appreciate that. This reporter threw the happenstance. What the heck is happenstance? This reporter threw happenstance? Has found themselves in an un... What is happenstance? I don't even know, dude. The chalky-haired renegade quickly boarded... Does that say more? Oh my god, it does. Holy crap. Oh my god, okay. We're not gonna read all that. Ernie's World, the train that brought me here, has not yet let out the piercing whistle that would lead me home. Sand tea. The ice in my sand tea. For some reason, that sounds good, though. Sand tea. Interesting. Is it summer now? Is that what it is? Workshop upgrade. Congratulations on building your workshop up to a two-star rating. Now you can get two commissions at a time. More commissions, more money. Maybe you're not such a newbie anymore, but you still got a long way to go. Huh. What are you still reading for? I told you you can get higher level commissions with a higher rank. So stop reading this letter and get to the com <laughs> Commerce Guild on the double. Go, go, go. The frick? That was weird. Okay. A lot going on. Yeah, obviously a lot going on there. I don't like Logan. He rejected me. That sounds, uh... Sounds like you, uh... Sounds like you might be a little uh, upset. A little upset about that. Thin thread for the uh, thing thing doohickey. Basic leather for the thing thing doohickey. I'll hold off on the commissions for right now. I'll just do the festival ones. Yeah. Happenstance equals coincidence. Is that what that means? I don't think I've ever heard that before. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard that before. Happenstance is like a coincidence, then. Hmm. I would rather be an outlaw than an in-law. <laughs> hey, Epoch, how you doing? What's going on? Good to see you. Hi, you're just Did you just say sand tea? God, no, I don't want sand in my tea. Hello, me in. Everyone here? I'll get right to the point. We need y'all's help in the upcoming Civil Corps mission to chase off the Gigglers. Way I figure, taking the bridge into Giggler territory is a bit dangerous. We'd be walking into whatever traps they might have set up for us. They'd also see us from a league away. Plus, walking over that bridge lately gives me the willies. Them Gigglers have been taking pieces from the bridge for Peach knows what. For Peach I don't think knows it's very what. stable right now. Heidi, is there any way we could sneak over on that old trolley system behind our office? That way we can get in undetected. You mean the tram system left over from the early days of Sandrock? The two cables are still there, but we have a couple of problems. First, there are no tram carts. And second, the trolley engines are broken. Not to mention they're on the other side of the canyon. On top of that, we'll have to check the integrity of the cables. Okay, that was more than two things. But, uh, never mind that. 
Sounds to me like the first step is getting ourselves some tram cars. Builders, can y'all handle that? We could try. Of course we can, right? Okay. Why don't we each build one tram cart? Then we can manually pull ourselves over those engines on the other side and fix them up. This is Mian. She speaks for me. It's our time to shine. I think it's doable. She still has some old diagrams from the early days in his collection. Let me go check and see if he's got one for the tram cart. I can get back to you on that soon. That's another thing about romancing uh, Mian. She seems like she's going to be the one that speaks for you as well in any situation. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks, partners. Just let me know when you're done. I hate to rush you, but well, without the railroad, I don't know how long our water will last. So do try to hurry. Yeah, no pressure at all. Thanks, big guy. Appreciate it. Wait for the diagram, which will probably come tomorrow. We'll walk out with everybody else. My lord. My lord. My lord, my lord, my lord. All right, we'll finish these other commissions we got going on. Hey, Amber, how you doing? Good to see you. I finally could make it to a live. How you doing? Welcome to a live, Amber. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well, yeah? Um, I guess furniture selling could be done at Hugo? Or Construction Junction, I guess, too, right? Hammer time? I can at least sell the other dagger here. Sell that. Sell the other axe. No. Cannot sell the bed here. Thank you, Hugo. How is everyone doing? I think everyone's doing quite swell. For the most part, yeah. Let's just say I was testing him to see if he's really into you or likes to play around. I clicked a certain option just to see what would happen and he told me, huh, we just met? I'm sorry, did you come on him very fast? And then like, he's like, sorry, Chibi, we just met. And then you're like, oh, I've been rejected. Hang it. <laughs> hey there. Hey, Katori, how you doing? Huh. How can I put a positive spin on this whole giggler thing for marketing? Come to Sandrock to experience an epic battle between man and nature. Nah, nobody will buy that. Huh. We're glad you handled that hydrogel situation. I was starting to doubt my decision to come to Sandrock. So, what's your story for coming to Sandrock? For me, it's the mid-aged lady wanting to create some last-minute glory before becoming old story. Honestly, if she just talked regular and didn't talk, like, with trying to get an accent down, I think it would be even more, like, spicy. Do I have anything for you? Would you like a piece of dried... Uh, would you like a piece of bread? Thanks for your gift. I like it, okay? You like it, okay? Okay. Very well. Any relics we can put together? DNA model we can put together, so let's restore that. Thank you. The Beast Head Jade Chalice. Let's also do that. Thank you. I think that's pretty much good. That was a lot of data disc, I will say, but... At least we got it going on. Let's donate that bad boy. Nice. Might as well just donate these two display really donate yes put the backers t-shirt in there maybe maybe in a different one dna model display i'm actually kind of curious if you put a bed it turns into a mini bed <laughs> Okay, that's kind of silly. Put like a t-shirt over here. I like that you can almost put like virtually anything you want. That's kind of cool. To be fair, I was never into him, so I didn't care that much. Aru would be more interesting option, but I think he's in love with Arvio, really? That's pretty cool if he is. 
That'd be cool to see. Clean up this mess. The dregs. Alright. Um, oh yeah, the harvest, uh, the, the sand rice should be done here now. I guess I could have done another uh, commission. I, I could still do another commission. T-shirt became baby clothes, I know, right? All of a sudden, I shopped that baby gap. There we go. I probably could even expand the farm, too. How much money do we have? 1300 Maybe not, actually, now thinking about it. I have spent a lot of money recently. Oh, I didn't sell my other handmade scarf. This is like minutes away. Oh, God. This is like minutes away here. Yeah, we are like one minute away. So by the time that's done, um, we can at least go get a couple commissions, maybe. I always want to know what the heart options are with every character. Uh, I'm gonna go for the bronze one. I'll do it. It's quite a bit, but I'll do it. Amira, or sorry, Katori. Oh, this is for Katori, dude. I'll do the benches for Katori. That's quite a bit too, but it's Katori, so I mean, come on. I gotta get into it. Have a great day and night too, Nebraska. You do. Thanks for hanging out with us. Appreciate it. All right, let's do benches. What do we need for this? We need, okay, we need basic leather. And then we need some wooden boards. I need to go get some wooden boards, yeah? Oh wait, no. We get wooden boards, boards here, Never mind. Yeah, we'll get that rolling. And then bronze bars. Yep. Let's get that going. Auto fill that. We'll probably just make a bunch of them. Since we have the tin ore. Well, maybe not a bunch a bunch, but maybe a few. Grab some of that. Go check out the uh, salvage real quick. Hang on. I'm in here. Store it all. Good. I guess I think I finished one of my commissions, too. Potentially. I like to click the heart options with everybody. It does something. I reload the previous save. I'm not proud of it. <laughs> You scum save a lot, no? Is that what you're doing? Are you scum saving? At least you say you're not proud of it. I like doing the hard options. It just kind of makes you feel like, oh, I'm curious, you know? Whoa, what the hell? Oh, that was a bird? Or is that a plane? I just saw a massive sh that's a bird that that's that's a that's a plane that's a plane wow i don't think i've ever seen a plane in this game before it's a bird it's a plane it's 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 kansas forehead I, well i don't know there we go Scum save a lot. <laughs> no shame. No shame. No shame. No shame, no game, baby. You scum save a lot too. <laughs> you know, and honestly, I mean, really, the best part about it is like, you definitely scum save when. You're playing RPG games, right? Well, I guess it depends. I probably wouldn't do it in RPG game because I want to know, like, I want to have consequences for my actions type thing. 
but then I, I know a lot of other people would like to um, like to play the game as perfect as perfect to their standards if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense looks like you figured it out I did Here, take these as well Planting in the desert is the best step we can take towards fixing the climate here in Sandrock. Plus, you get to eat stuff. Glad to have you aboard. Oh, no shame uh, in my game. <laughs> you're probably going to need more seeds and stuff at some point. Just check out Burgess's store at the water tower. The church is always supposed to stay stocked up. Now, I better make like a tree and get out of here. Catch ya. What the heck does that mean? Make like a tree and get out of here? I got a hat. But I have a headband. So, yeah. Yeah, and I get it. I totally get, like, you want to see your options. But I feel like, uh, for me at least, like, I like to take that and then my options where I'm like, oh, I wonder what would have happened if this would, if I would have done this differently, right? I feel like that gives me kind of, like, more of a reason to, uh, to, whoops. Uh, more of a reason to play the, you know, play the game again, you know, play it over again on a, you know, another save or whatever it might be. I gotta talk to Chi, dude. I do. I do. I do. I do. I'm kind of lacking in the research department right now. I am, I am, I am. I'm lacking. I'm lacking in the research department. Whoop. In one save game, I have four lovers. Four loves. It kind of reminds me of like, uh, that reminded me of like, it was like you play Fable, Fable 2. I, it used to be fun because like in Fable, Fable 1 and Fable 2, you could like have like multiple wives in like different towns, right? And as long as you didn't have your wives like, um, as long as you didn't have your wives uh, know about each other, like you could have a house in one town, right? You could buy a house, live in one town, have a wife there, go to another town, buy a house there. Have a wife in there you can almost have like a wife in like every town with a house and everything it was one of the fun things about playing fable gonna go to the moisture farm and buy straw nah dude not not the moisture I'm gonna get from burgess i don't want to do the moisture anything with moisture souvenir shop really there's a lot of cool stuff here Yeah, there is. What is this? Rename card. Oh, rename the workshop. Oh, you can actually get the dancer stuff here, too. Oh, okay. Very well. Hey, Diane. How you doing, Diane? What's going on? Thanks for the things for the festival. Our festival's gonna be incredible. It is. Hmm. Does Matilda have her own subreddit? <laughs> Don't worry, dear. We're gonna not be get pushed out of our home by a bunch of overgrown mutants. Our civil corps is going to handle this mess, and then everything is going to be back to normal. All right, very well. I heard it was you and me on who teamed up to go fixing things all around town, all of your own volition. And I must say, I am darn impressed. What you've done really embodies the spirit of Telesis. I think I speak for everyone when I say that I look forward to seeing y'all grow and prosper within our humble town. Hmm. Zig's moisture farm is such an important part of keeping Sandrock going. We're so lucky that you have that you builders were able to take care of everything so swimmingly. Are you sure your middle name isn't Telesis? So long, partner. Hang on a sec.
I want to start a new save, but I think I'll save myself for the full release. You're level 75 in your current save right now. Going back to level 1 would kill me. Oh my lord. Yeah, no, I think that would be probably a good idea. Yeah, probably a good idea. Don't want to overdo it. Don't want to burden yourself out right before full release. I get it. Plus, we got a lot of other games coming out here soon. Very soon. In the next year. Sorry. In the next month. <laughs> right? I mean, we, we all got to, like, dive into Story of Seasons next month. So that's going to be... That's going to be a whole ordeal. That'll probably hold you over until full release of Sandrock, too. Perfect. We have so much water on us. Um, we'll hold on to that. Let's go get some more straw from Burgess's shop. So excited for Story of Seasons. Me too. I am. I just, like, that game I'm just, like, really excited about. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go here. I I think I was very excited that they made the commitment because I think when they announced it, when they announced a story of seasons, they didn't announce that it was going to be on PC. They just said, "Oh, we're going to make a remake of A Wonderful Life," and then eventually they're like, "Oh, by the way, it's going to be on PC also." I'm like, "Oh my god, yes, nice." Love that. Oh, yeah, and Everdream Valley, too. That's right. And Everdream Valley. Yeah, that's like in a couple of weeks. So, Everdream Valley holds you over until Story of Seasons. Story Seasons holds you over until maybe another Dinkum Summer Update. Also, with um, the full release of Sandrock. But, like, the next couple of months is looking pretty good, I would have to say. No? I would have to say, yeah. Go. Go. Sand rice. Oh, plant has enough water. I like that you don't have to water too much in this game. Okie dokie, artichoke. Let's see. Gotta go talk to Chi. Yeah, I gotta go get go go talk to Chi. Maybe have another research going down going down while he, while he gives us this other diagram to work on. <clears throat> I'm catching up on my current save of Sandrock to get ready for the next update and playing the beta of Coral Island, testing out what's coming in new in the next update. I'm really, you know, I don't know. I think we kind of speculated that Coral Island is probably going to be like, hopefully full release by the first quarter of 2024, right? But yeah, that's another game where I like, I want to revisit when... It gets closer to that time where it's like, okay, now it's, you know, it's, it's time to, you know, it's more, more, more pushed out, more, uh, more content, I guess you could say. I'm very excited for that because Coral Island is fun. I, I like Coral Island a lot. Intermediate work table. We'll just do that, I guess. Summer's looking pretty good for some great games. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I'm also excited to see new stuff you plan to bring to the channel. That's enough for me. <laughs> there always will be, like, new stuff. That's the one thing about the indie world is... The indie world, the indie game world, there's always new things happening. There's always new stuff coming about. New stuff popping in, popping out, you know? Things that you might not know, things that you might know, you know? That's the cool thing about the indie world. Yeah, 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 buddy. Oh, I forgot about Hometopia. Forgot about Paralives. Well, sorry, not Paralives. I forgot about Life by You. I forgot about City Skylines too. Holy crap. Yeah, you know about all that stuff. <laughs> all those different things. All those different games coming about and all that. Yeah, of course. There we go. Yes. 
They seem to be ahead of schedule on some of their schedule, which is promising. That's good. That's good. Not a lot of bugs they've ran into, no? Pablo, dear new builder and future customer. Hello, hello. I'm Pablo, a wandering artist who just finished wandering. Oh. I picked up some new paintings and learned some new hairstyles from the lovely Walnut Groove. Oh, I remember, Pablo. If you'd like to come in and experience these things for yourself, waltz on over to Pablo's Parlor right over by City Hall. From Heidi Haycans, uh, here's a copy of the diagram for the suspended tram cart. She didn't want to part with his original. I sent one to Mian as well. Also, Justice told me he already checked on the cables. They are still tra uh, traversable. The old civilization sure made some quality stuff. P.S. You should upgrade your workshop. Uh, some of the recipes you'll need for this job can only be made with an intermediate work table. Oh, well, that was perfect then. Because that's exactly what we have bacon in the oven. Cool. Nice. Well, that works out. Have a little bit of that. A little bit of that. Just keep it coming. Keep it coming. There we go. Come back over here. A little bit of fine wood. Do a little bit of that and a little bit of that. Ooh. We got a quest over here too, apparently. There's some rocky releases and betas. Like that car for sale simulator. Yeah. Yeah, there is some rocky releases. Um, I mean, lucky enough for the car, car for sale simulator. The guy, uh, the dev team reached out to me and they're like, this morning, they said, hey... Can we put your live stream on our Steam page? I'm like, hell yeah, dude, that's, that, you can do that. I guess they really enjoyed that two hours of what we had going on there. But yeah, I, I like I like when, you know, dev teams come and they say, can we put your streams on like the Steam page? I, I, I like it a lot. It's pretty cool. But we will be playing that game again next week. Uh, since it's going to be a release, it's going to come out released tomorrow and I won't be able to be here tomorrow. But next week we'll go back to the car uh, for sale simulator again. It was always good to drive them lizard folk away. They're always the worry they're gonna come bother us again. It's like I said to uh, Rocky, we gotta have our wits about us. Right, Builda? I guess so. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, that in like, um... Let's get that going. That and... Let's get that going. I was gonna say oh yeah like little games that pop up like some games like uh when we played uh what was it uh border officer or border patrol i forgot the name of the game border officer police border or something rather that game was just fun and like that was like a little bit of a surprise kind of game too we had some weird times and good times on that one Let's see, let's go here. Let's get the bench done, hopefully. That's one. And then a bunch of thin threads. There we go. I need salt. I need salt. I need salt. I need salt. I need to go get salt. Alright. Let's go get some salt. Contraband police. That's what the name of it was. Contraband police. Oh, look at that. That was fun. That series was... Oh, and even like Big Ambitions. Big Ambitions when they drop some more updates. You know, and when they decide to go full release too. You know what I mean? That kind of fun stuff. I forgot where I got the salt. Did I get the salt from our view? Big Ambitions of Fun Game. I'm gonna sell you something too, Arvio. I'm gonna sell you a freaking hat. Sell you a scarf. I'm gonna sell you a f bed too. Where's the bed? Do I have the bed? Where the heck did I put the bed? Did I already sell the bed? I did very well <laughs> very well I like how they decorate before the festival too
just check car for sale simulator page on steam and your stream is going strong oh is it on there right now <laughs> that was fast i i basically responded to the email like five minutes before i streamed today so it's already up there on on steam sick dude love it i did i i thought i pulled it back from the from the museum i thought i put it on there and then i pulled it back maybe i did it maybe i left it there there we go. <laughs> you can <laughs> read it. I'll be reading all that chat on the Steam page. Oh, God. All the different things that we were going through. <laughs> so funny. All right, let's get these benches done for Katori. Let's see, let's see. Um Yes, it was here, to there, to there, to there, to there. Perfect. Alright, Katori. Coming back. I could even potentially speed up uh the research for Chi 2 on the uh intermediate work table. Is that what just happened on the Steam page? Hide your wife, hide your kids, here comes cans. Did that just happen? <laughs> oh my god, Katori. What the heck just happened to you? I apparently hide your wife, hide your kids just happened to Katori. <laughs> oh, she just fell! She just ah. Oh. You're a magical woman. This is why you, uh, you get my gears moving. Holy crap. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. That was crazy, dude. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> she was falling through the bottom of the world and then she came back. Holy crap. All right, let's go speed up our little research here. I think this is worth it. We have quite a bit of discs. It shouldn't take that much, right? Oh, no. One more day. We can't even speed it up. So it's going to happen tomorrow anyways. Ooh. That's good. <laughs> oh, is that the... Uh, did they got the music out now? Can you actually play these now? Is this festival happening tomorrow? Are they just getting ready for it? I guess they're just getting ready for it. I don't think it's happening tomorrow. Maybe too soon, yeah? Far too soon. How much money do I have? 2600? How much do you need for this uh, additional upgrade? Is this 2000 or 3000? 3000. Oh my lord. 3000. Well then. Very well. Let's go check the salvage place real quick grab a little bit of goodies oh you could check the calendar to see when the festival is okay let's see here oh and okay in a few days what is this uh chase of memories and wishing festival wait a sec okay autumn has the running of the yakimo i remember that Winter has bonfire dance, barbecue activity, fireworks. I don't think I've ever saw that. And then, obviously, my birthday. Sick. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen the 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 dance, the fireworks, and the barbecue or activity or festival thing. Ah. How to use it. Is it true that if you don't use it, you'll lose it? <laughs> That's a Steve, uh, Steve Carell jo uh, reference right there. Oh, 
winter festival was added in one of the later updates okay well then that makes sense why i probably haven't uh done it then yeah that probably makes sense then because like when i did play this game like it was like i was playing it like the first like obviously i played it day one but then like after that i played it for maybe a couple weeks after it was released and then I got through all the story content there was in the early access because this is still early access and then I was like okay I'm gonna put it down and I'm gonna come back later when it's more developed you know so there was probably like a lot of things that I, I might have missed since then not missed but I guess a lot more things added since then type thing oh we have a little bit of a skill point here Social, social, social. Chance to gain double social knowledge experience for completing commissions. I wish I would have done that a little bit sooner. I'll be real with you. We'll do that now, though. I love the look of our character. It's good. The dance outfit's pretty cool. It's very true. <laughs> <laughs> there we go oh whoops you know what hasn't happened also in quite some time there hasn't been a um a uh a sandstorm like there's only been one sandstorm we've dealt with i don't know if that's normal or what the deal is I should probably actually use some of this my advantage here um let's see let's go boom 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 i guess the model pieces we'll put away too i don't think i don't know if you need to actually have the model pieces with you to uh to, to bring to the museum i don't know if you have to or not i don't know what the logistics that there is hopefully that made sense i don't know if that even made sense coming out of my mouth water no no we're so good very very good on water okay did we do all of our commission today too let me see Oh, maybe they're more common in uh, winter, like bad storm kind of thing. But it could be coincidental. I could probably do this one. Arvio? Or pen? Rubber rings? I can do the rubber shells. Yeah, we got the rubber shells. Nice. Now we're making money quite quite fast, I would have to say. Look, they got the balloons and everything. Oh, I forgot about Pablo. Let's go see Pablo. Hello, Pablo. Let's see, possible makeover? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know yet. It doesn't, like, bring in new hairstyles, huh? It doesn't. Holy hell. Damn. You know what games don't have? You know what games don't have? I'm a little bit biased. You know what games don't have though? Games have a poor representation of perms. What's up with that? We need more, uh... We need more perm representation. You know what I- You know what I'm talking about? I think we do. Maybe a little bit lighter on the brown there? <laughs> Damn. 
That's not highlights. That's like dyeing your whole he head, dude. That is far from highlights. My lord. It's gonna cost me $300 to make my hair brown. No, thank you. No, thank you, Pablo, but thank you. Nonetheless. Hey, you must be the builder. I am the builder. Allow me to extend a warm welcome to Sandrock on behalf of Pablo's parlor. I'm Pablo, the head stylist. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Oh, you have to have this stuff on your inventory to donate? Damn. I've been staying at Walnut Groove. I didn't know we were getting two new builders. Looks like you two are getting along swimmingly, but if I may say so, it also kind of looks like you've been swimming in sand and dust. The game does need beards. That's, you're, you're right about that. That's where I come in. Whenever you want to change your style, get a new do, stop into my shop and I'll get that dust off and make sure you stand out in a crowd. Roblox, my daughter has too many hairstyles. <laughs> Howdy. The game is permless. All games are permless, it feels like. Round up those... Let's round up the posse to teach those gigglers a lesson, partners. It's so camp. I love it. What the heck? It's so camp? Is that slang or something? It's so camp? Catch you later. Dude, I'll spar you, Pablo. Don't want to catch these hands. More curly options that aren't just afros. I like wearing my hair in all kinds of styles, not just in a fro, even if I look great in it. Yeah, more options, more curly options. I wonder if it's, it's probably like hard to do. It's probably hard to make, maybe, huh? As like a game developer. Probably hard to like contrast it in some way. Mm -hmm. How about I make some t-shirts that say I survived the Giggler attack and all I got was this stupid t-shirt. Think that will sell, you know? Assuming we su survive. Here's your freaking rubber shells, my man. There you go. Nice. Level 18 as well. Cool. Nice. Very, very good. Mission complete. Mission complete. You can restore relics without having pieces in your inventory. The restored relic will go into your inventory and then you can donate it. But if you restored a relic, it's in your storage. You can't donate. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. That that makes more sense. All right. Now that that cleared that up, then I get it now. I get it now. Hmm. Oh, I get it. Give me more sand berries, please. Now, there was a reason to kill the roosters, and I forgot what the reasoning was behind killing the roosters. What they dropped. They dropped something, yeah? Hopper scrap, oh god. A little bit of quality wood, too. Oh, machine upgrade kits. Is that what they were for? Maybe that's what it was. Okay, so they dropped machine upgrade kits. It was like some sort of upgrade kit we were talking about, huh? Cockadoodle Doom. Ah, oh, dude, this is gonna be the worst day of your life. Promise you. Rooster Rocket Machine Upgrade Kit. That's what it was. Machine Upgrade Kit. Nice. I don't think I want a Rooster Rocket in my hand. Yeah, that's something I'm just not comfortable with. There we go. Uh, what is up here? I haven't even, like, been up here, I don't think. Bunch of freaking roosters, though. Like, look at the roost. They, like, have afros, too. Oh, my God. He sounded like a bomb. Yeah, he do be having a, an afro, too. There's a couple machine upgrade kits. That's nice. The Grand Mesa or Mesa. Is there any chest up here? The Grand Mesa. Ooh. Ooh. Music, yeah? The 
house over there. Definitely Giegler, Giegler action going on there. Cool, dude. I like it. Oh, wait. You think I could throw a rock down there? Hey, nerd. Hey. Hey. I just hit myself with a rock. What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, no. That was embarrassing. Who's the nerd now, nerd? <laughs> oh, God. So bad. Like, like, I attempted to throw it, but, like, totally smashed it on my head. Ooh, rubber. A little bit more rubber. It's like, it looks like right here you can just, like, jump right on in. Copper scrap, that's always useful. There we go. Okay, let's head back. It's getting late. It's getting late. I haven't killed any of the ants either. We'll admit. Yeah, that's good. Good stuff. And then we'll get our upgrade work table tomorrow, which will help us uh, progress even further. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen, and all in between, that right there is going to be it for today's stream. Hope you all enjoyed today's stream of my time at Sandrock. We got pretty far today, I will say, and we dance dance revolution the hell out of it. We took down the dance and it was very, very good. So thank you for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. Big shout out to Kyla for the super chat and Lori and for getting a sem uh, membership to Nebraska Don. Very much appreciated that. This will be the last stream of the week. So I will talk to you all live next week. Um, so no more Sandrock until next week and all that. But hope you all enjoy. If you're watching this, make sure to hit the like button before you leave. If you got up to this point in the stream, I would appreciate that very much hey perry how you doing perry <laughs> your character looks so sophisticated thank you appreciate it i will be gone this weekend and i hope you all have a wonderful weekend and a nice safe weekend as well i will be back next week so watch out for that we'll be doing more streams we got more games new games will be coming out in the next couple of weeks as well we could be continuing other games we have here on the channel like sandrock all that good stuff Thanks for hanging out with me. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter if you want more content by me. Or if you just want to know what the heck's going on and what we're doing this weekend and all that stuff, you can even join the Discord and know what the heck's going on there as well. But yeah, hope you all enjoy. Have a good one. And I will see you all next week. And do as always, take care. <laughs>